Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. Why does it feel like people are... <laughs> oh, God, there's just so many gifted in chat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the gifted. That's so many. Oh, my God. I, I was just sitting here watching them rain like, what? Are you guys okay? Um, sorry that I was late. I was setting up a Discord thing with some other people. Um, for one of the collabs we're going to be doing next week. Making sure everybody's okay with it. Trying to get that all sorted out by tonight so the schedule can go out tomorrow. But thank you guys so much. Oh my god. We haven't even started the stream yet. And there's <laughs> not even 200 gifted, but just 200 new members on the channel. Which is crazy. That means even some of the people that got gifted, if they already had them before, that doesn't even count in that. God damn. Happy Friday the 13th. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to have you all here. That's just insane. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Happy spoopy season. Uh, if you didn't already know, uh, we're doing anything on this channel because I did see a lot of gray names here. That seems like a lot of people are interested in seeing Eeb, which is nice. So thank you for all the gifted. There seems to be a lot of new people joining in. Um, Yeah, I'm going to drop into the scene for one quick second. For anyone who didn't know, we play pretty much exclusively horror games in Halloween. And while we do, we count how many times we get, well, I get scared <laughs> during streams. So we're up to 25 so far. For each one, it's got to be a $100 donation to a mental health charity that the confidants picked out. Um, I don't have a link to it, but I probably freaking should. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the month, uh, we're going to donate however many scares times $100 to charity. So yeah, we're already up to 2500 and, you know, we're not even halfway through the month. <laughs> so pain, pain is approaching. <laughs> but it will be a good donation to charity. Hopefully I'll be able to double whatever the confidants managed to donate by the end of the month as well. Um, but today we are going to be playing Eeb, which looks like a fun game. I know nothing about this one. I've said this multiple times. The only thing I know are like the motifs of the beautiful red rose. Oh, it doesn't even show my cursor in the game. I really thought it would. I thought this would be the type of game to have a cursor. But no, it's keyboard controls. Yeah, the beautiful motif of the rose and like the paintings. So all I know is I'm guessing we're going to an art gallery where a child horror and spoopy shenanigans should be abundant. How are you guys still gifting? Oh my god. Welcome to the membership, everybody who's joining, who's new. Welcome to the sheet pile. This is freaking crazy. But thank you so much. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to be playing Eve today. Mine is a little bit broken right now. You guys, God, we normally do these things at the ends of streams, not God. <laughs> Just thank you so much. It's very sweet of you. I'm, I, uh, I'm very excited for this game. Let's dive into it. I will pretend um, that nothing unusual has happened this morning. Uh, just thank you so much. It's been a good morning and I'm glad to see you all here. Let's do this. First time going in blind, so please no spoilers. Please no backseating unless I ask for it. There may come occasions where I ask for it. If I like get lost for too long, and I feel like it's going to be boring for viewers. Yes, I will say go ahead and tell me what to do. So just until then, don't just assume like, oh, he's lost. Let me give him a direction. Let me give him the right direction. Just let me find it at my own pace and explore this. With that said. Oh, let me turn the music back up too. Because the music in this sounds beautiful. In the early afternoon, under a grey sky, Eve and her parents were on their way to an art gallery. Did you remember everything, Eve? Oh, do you have your handkerchief? You know, your one you got for your birthday. Keep it safe in your pocket, okay? Don't lose it. Makes me think that handkerchief is going to be important for the game somehow. Let's go, heck yeah. Use WASD. Don't make me time you out for silliness. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we're here. It's your first time in an art gallery, isn't it, Eve? We're here today to see an exhibition of works by an artist named Gortena. Gortena? Gortena. Besides just paintings, there are also sculptures and all kinds of creations. I don't doubt that even you'll be able to enjoy it, Eve. Why she say it that way? Wait, that's so mean. Don't tell that even you'll be able to enjoy it. Am I depressed or something? Am I grumpy? Um. Should we check in at the front desk? Ah, yes. Let's get some pamphlets as well. Eve's mom is beautiful. Yeah, meanwhile, Eve's dad is just like so generic looking. 
<laughs> because Evie's baby? Aww. Maybe just because she's small. They shouldn't be talking down to her like that, then. They should be sweet to her, not like, oh, I'm sure even you'll be able to enjoy it. It should be more like, you're gonna love it, baby. There's gonna be so many bright colors and flashy things and scary anglerfish, actually. Maybe this isn't the place for a child. Hmm? <laughs> you wanna start looking around? Really now, Eb. <sighs> All right. Just make sure you're quiet in the gallery, okay? Don't make a ruckus. I don't suppose I'll have to worry about that when it comes to you, though. Don't cause the other visitors any nuisance now. Oh, yo. The sprite work actually looks pretty good. I like how it moves. What up, buddy? Maybe I should go have a smoke. Maybe you should. Pamphlets for other non Gretena exhibitions. <laughs> Gretena. Gretena? I'm going to call it Gretena. <laughs> Stacks of many pamphlets. They're selling postcards of different paintings. Oh, this is how we save. Okay. Let me know if you like the music at this volume, by the way. If it ends up being too loud, let me know. In fact, I'm going to turn it down just a touch. That sounds good. That's good for me, but if you guys want it louder or quieter, just let me know. Don't cause the other visitors any nuisance now. Dad is talking with the receptionist. Man, Dad doesn't care about... Ooh. <laughs> That's cute. We get a little zoom in option. I knew it. Lace handkerchief, a treasured white handkerchief from Mother. Oh, Mother, you spoil me so much. Green hair, anime man. Oh, so this is the one they put in all the magazine ads. Oh, they painted it onto the ground. That's even free here. Great. I wanted so badly to see this one with my own eyes. It's completely different from seeing it in a book. The mood is just so... You know, damn, I wish I had a book to tell me a good way to describe it. I have no personality of my own. Hmm, it's like looking deep down into the sea from the surface. Question mark, question mark, question mark of the deep. A world where man can never stand to that world. I decided to it within the canvas. Wait, is that important? Something of the deep. I can never stand to blank that word. I decided to blank it within the canvas. Capture it? Capture it, I feel like, is right, but I wonder why the rest are question marks. Maybe it's just words Eves can't understand because she's eight. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just literally she can't read words. That's what I'm thinking. Like, she can read them, but possibly not understand them. So it's just like, I don't know what these mean. Almost feels like that fish really is swimming around down there. But if it actually was... I'd probably wet myself, not gonna lie. I'm eight and I don't understand this word. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm 12 and this is deep. <laughs> That's what big old display. Oh, you're cute. You're like Orihime from Bleach. Deep. I feel like it's gonna suck me in. Nah, I didn't eat you up, if anything. Say, do you ever find yourself thinking you want to get a closer look at art? Personally, I don't hesitate to get my face up in there if I'm so inclined. I recommend it to get a better look at what's in the painting. Okay. <laughs> a well-meaning blank. Let's see. It is a young boy sitting upon a carpet, working on a tapestry, while his mother scolds him. Or perhaps a piano. Yes, there are black and white keys. Oh, it's a fucking tiger mom again. We've got a helicopter parent. We just finished that part of Layers of Fear. <laughs> yeah, it's a child practicing the piano while his mother tells her, hey shit at this. Welcome to the world of Gratina. We truly thank you for today. We're currently showcasing a on the works of the great artist Wise Gratina. Wise? Yeah. We hope you... Wait, that's two different languages, right? That's like German and Spanish? We hope you deeply enjoy the art of the late Gratina. Oh, they're dead. Whose creations carry such mystery and beauty both. We don't know some of the words. I missed the most important flavor text. So yes, it is that she doesn't understand the words. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, Sir Gretina is a boy for one thing. God damn it. Sir Gretino is indeed astounding. I cannot hold him in high enough regard. Alas, if only you were still alive, I would have gladly been your apprentice. Yeah, but what makes you think he would have taken you on as apprentice? Yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I can't say I really understand this one either. Tis a woman melting into the ground. 
with two planets orbiting her. Perhaps she's Mother Earth, or perhaps she's the Sun. Perhaps it represents how much people orbit those who give out energy, and because of that they are drained by it. It's blue, so it's sad. Exactly. I know all about the blue curtains. <laughs> We're not illiterate. We're just eight years old. Yeah, she's just baby. She just doesn't understand some of the words. Fiction is hard, man. It takes a while. The coughing man. <laughs> but that one's nice and easy. A truly marvelous painting. How does one even paint something like this? Lady, that is an ass with a... <laughs> nope it's yeah. yep it's a it's a dick pic taken from behind i know exactly what that is that does mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. selfless god oh i like this one this is a big old rose can't even get it all in frame blank of spirit beautiful at a glance but should you get too close it pain it blooms only in blank bodies oh that's that's gonna be important i guess I feel like the slightest jolt could make that snap stalk snap into a million pieces. Wonder how they'd make me pay for it. Ooh, that's a scary thought. It really is. And yeah, that's standing up on a very tiny thing. That's some big ass then. Is it some big ass or is it just a perspective shot? Maybe it's really close to the ass. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> Maybe it's just a huge. You never know. This piece is pretty incredible. But I wish I could see it from higher up. Please refrain from touching the displays. They will explode and you'll get thorns in you. Eternal sleep. That sounds nice and relaxing. Aw, yeah, it's just a woman laying down in the bed. Blank spirit. I don't like that. It hurts my eyes. It reminds me of that episode of Pokemon with the red and green, red and blue flashing. Man, the great Gortana does not disappoint. The more I look, the deeper it seems. I think someone just spilled coffee on that. But okay, sir, you do you. Blanket water's edge. It's a shell. <laughs> I'm sure it has some deeper way to say it, though. Since Eve can't understand it. Oh, my parents have got... Oh. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Eve, have you checked out the second floor? They've got a lot of displays that aren't paintings up there. Quetina isn't the most famous artist, but... I've been eagerly anticipating this, antis this exhibition. I hope you come to appreciate his art too, Eeb. I am eight, mother. <laughs> Maybe you should have taken me to something simpler. Finger painting with your child might have been nice. Porygon? Exactly. Screw that crap. Blank on table. I don't want to say what that looks like. It's illegal. Ooh, dresses. Damn. Gretchen had really got up to all kinds of things. Death of the individual honestly so true <laughs> everybody thinks they're so unique just by having different colors but it's all just the same dress i like that one in my opinion what gretina is saying here is that the individual lies in one's expression um <laughs> i i thought the opposite i thought it was the fact that they're pretending that they've got their own unique expression but it's it's just colors it's just colors mm, as i thought someone your age wouldn't understand would you sorry bitch i took it deeper than you and i am eight i haven't gone through puberty yet i understand that better than you what a strange sofa but i like that about it i'd love to sit on it but i suppose i shouldn't uh, it looks like it's bleeding with thorns maybe Reserved seat. Yep, can't sit there. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. Bitter fruit. Pears aren't bitter. Oranges can be, I guess. Blank diamond. The shattered diamond. Destroyed diamond. The third floor serves as a rest area. Well, I haven't finished this. Ooh, that one's getting dark. I apologize if my daughter is disturbing you. It's a kitty. Mommy, it's a kitty picture. Yes, yes, I get it. Be quiet. I told you not to shout. Oh, we're getting these kinds of feelings again. Let the child appreciate the art. She finally found something she enjoys here. Sir, you look like a plant. Can you turn around, please? It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> it's Kitty from Fambo. It does kind of look like it. It's a shame Gratina's kind of an obscure artist. 
though he only gets exhibits at tiny galleries like this. It'd be nice if more people knew about him, really. My parents love him. Doesn't this exhibition seem kind of small? Shouldn't there be more pieces than this? From what I hear, they didn't even have the space or budget to even remotely show everything. Ah. Blank. <laughs> you know what? Fair. It's a fruit with a bunch of knives stuck in it. Which means to me, sometimes the best parts of life can be very confusing and painful. This is considered tiny. I know, right? This is pretty decent. I mean, I guess for like, this is like their entire life's work it's supposed to be. So I guess in that way, it's kind of tiny. But yeah, compared to like other art exhibits I've seen, I've seen some where it's just like four or five sculptures, two or three paintings. Taste cleansing tree. Yo, is it full of fruit roll up? Oh, I like that curl in the middle as well. Kind of looks like the handle of a mug. I want to take that rainbowy stuff. I think that's a... No, I want to tell him yes. He's smaller than me. He won't get in trouble. They'll just be like, why is there an unaccompanied child here? They'll get mad. You're boring. I didn't want to be child. That rainbow stuff looks kind of tasty. I mean, if it's taste cleansing, then maybe it's candy. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too, lady. I love that we have like a five-year-old boy and what looks like a definitely adult woman still thinking the same thing. It's just like... Do you think it tastes good? <laughs> For Chan, you're covering the dialogue options. Am I? I'll see you next time I get an option. Definitely out of the way of the dialogue, at least. Hmm, superb. I'm truly jealous of Master Guetena's genius. <laughs> My! Simply incredible. This painting would look perfect hanging in our living room. You feeling it, Mr. Ovid? Yeah, I'm liking this. So oh, I like that painting. Wish this dude would get out of my way. Glass of blank. Wine. Blood. Plasma. What a beautiful woman. But I wonder if she was someone real. They say Gratena hardly ever depicted people who actually existed. But some sure do seem like real people, don't they? Like this woman here. It's amazing. Yep, he's found his waifu. Good for you, honestly. That looks like Eve or her mom. Kinda, actually. Not so much her mom. Give Eve like 10 years. Yeah, maybe. But a similar style with the hair color and I just realized we've got blood red eyes. <laughs> Blank towers. Oh no, I'm not gonna, gonna move on from that one. Yo, a selfie. Worry. I mean, Ronald McDonald scares me too. You never know when he's gonna attack. So, fair. You're blocking my view. Could you move? Hmm. You're blocking my view. Hmm. 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 Screw you, dude. Lady taking the newspaper. I mean, I don't know what's being expressed in this one. Okay, clearly a main character with your tattered coat and purple hair. Why are you looking at a hanged upside down child? Oh, I really thought something would come of that. I did that last because I didn't want to miss anything. Bye, child. God, he's so tuny. Doesn't even want to talk to me. Oh, I thought this was just a rest. Ooh, there's that pretty woman again. And the flower. I don't recognize most of these, though. I guess that could be the twin tower. The, 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 yeah, the twin towers in the middle. Blank world. Uh, are we going to do a Super Mario and jump into the painting? Just an old lady, Fu Chan. That makes sense. I've seen a lot of old ladies with dyed purple hair. Um, everything's changed now, isn't it? Crap! <laughs> Everybody's gone. At least I can interact with these now. The lady in red. Nice. Blank of centuries end. That's dramatic. The hanged man. Nice and simple. I was expecting something more dramatic for that one, too. Okay, I'm a save. Save is safety. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't save the first. Sorry, there we go. I didn't realize I didn't save the first time. That was just an auto save. Is the fish going to come out? No one's around. I hear footsteps, though. Let me turn this up a bit. 
No BGM, but there's that. And yeah, my parents abandoned me. Probably too interested in the art. Bank of spirit. Beautiful at a glance, but don't get too close. Who's going to stop me now? Damn it. Okay, at least you're not moving. You're nice and creepy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Did you hear that coughing sound? Blank of the deep. Oh, the footsteps stopped. Now it's like a dragging sound. Hello? It won't open. Um. Maybe I need to go back upstairs, but I'll do one more loop real quick. Was it not you? No. <laughs> that was something in this world. Wait. Did I have a... A sky scene from a hill. Oh, okay, it wasn't a dick pic. I was wrong. Maybe I need to interact with this. Question mark. Okay, upstairs we go. Hello? It's black outside. You wanna come in? There's a mark from someone banging on it. Not very friendly. Should have at least said hey. Taste cleansing tree. That startled me? Good. <laughs> oh, hey, kitty. Your dark figure. I am not a cat girl. I refute. Ooh. A fallen fruit. Not so sour anymore, is it? Can I sit on this sofa? Now that no one's around. God, I would be touching everything. Reserved seat. The painting's coming to life. It certainly feels like it. It's very night at the museum. Death of the individual. Okay, let's see what's upstairs. I would like to... Oh, yeah, the painting's leaking now. There's a blue liquid leaking from the flame. Come, Ebe. I'll show you a secret spot. Ooh, footstep. Thank you. Waiting for somebody to give me a damn guide. Yeah, there still. No. Honestly, if the banging leaves marks, that just means it's good banging. Oh, we're going into the abyss. The abyssal zone. Here we go. Because we're stuck in the abyss. Pew, 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 pew. Do I want to go for blue liquid or red liquid? I don't know if this game has multiple endings. But screw it. I like red don't really understand this painting. You don't really understand this painting. Come. Come. No. Ooh. Is that a saver? Oh, I thought it was figgy pudding. The blank fish. Looks like a bone fish to me. X. Oh, it's for items. It's locked. Okay, we're going red anyway. <laughs> that was my plan anyway, so screw it. Take the flower. You obtained the red rose. Oh, that was so loud. Ouch, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Seems like this stool can be pushed. I mean... I don't need to do this, but it feels better that way. When the rose, so too will you. When the rose withers, so too will you? When the, Oh yeah, top left, I've got a bar. Oh shit, I should be moving. There's something on the ground. Obtain the blue key. <laughs> Are you tape-harrowing me? <laughs> Her expression. Yeah, she she really making fun of me. Okay. Have fun, blue haired girl. Faye. F thief thief thief. Oh, because I stole the flower. You and the rose are something. You must learn the weight of life. Yeah, I fucked up. Face red rose. 
Ah, oh, okay. And it drained all the water. So now we're on a timer again. We can reinvigorate the rose with water. Teeth. Look, the rose was just sitting there. That's on you. The Blackfish. Isn't that a face of the famous Japanese food company? Yeah. But it's also become like a genuine, like emoji and silly thing. The if, the if. Beware the edges. What are they going to do to me? Yeah, can't do shit. Oh, that thing's moving. It's a little cockroach. I'm an ant. I love paintings. I want to see my painting, but it's kind of far away. Aww. Maybe I can bring it to you. There's a spider up here. Painting of a spider. Painting of a butterfly. Painting of a bee. Painting of a ladybug. You know what? Eve knows her garden critters pretty damn well. Smart Eve. Prologue. Chapter one. Oh, it's the caterpillar's life. Chapter two. Last chapter. You don't know that. Maybe they'll evolve even further. You can't cross this hole in the floor. Oh, damn. She is eight. I've been told, chat. Oh, those edges. Okay. Can't touch me, you grabby hands. What you gonna do? Oh, oh, you hungry? What if I go this way? Ah, ha, ha. Dumbass. Anyway, I found an ant. Painting of an ant. Actually, it looks like this painting can be taken off the wall. I mean, once a thief, always a thief. I, I didn't join this life. This life joined me. Obtain the ant painting. Weep. Hey, buddy. Check it out. Oh, that's my painting. It's just as cool as I remember it. Stares lovingly. Um, I'm sorry to do this to you, buddy, but let's feed it to the f spider. Oh. A large depiction of an ant. Oh, I'm going to use it to cross the gap. Oh, that's mean. Eeb Klepto. Hey, once you've stolen once, it gets harder to not do it anymore. My painting. Oh, no. The ant in the painting got squished. Don't tell me. Oh, no. You're still good. What happened to my painting? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> You're alive. That's all that matters. Really thought that one. Ooh. Are you going to want to hug me? A headless statue. Epilogue. Oh, the spider got the butterfly. Fair, honestly. There's something on the ground. Obtained the green key. Yeah, I figured. Yep, back away, Eep. Stranger danger. Oh, it can come through doors. And we broke that with safe. Well, now I'll never know what she did over there. She smashed some glass. Oh, well. Another save? Why not? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> came out of the far wall. To Kitty room! I got a fishy. There's a fish-shaped hole in the wall. Oh, I need to shove a fish in your face. She fell through. Oh, it sounded like glass shattering. Um, hello, little man. What are you up to? It's doing stretches. I mean, uh, play hide and seek. Wait. Play hide and seek. Okay, I'll find you. Any obvious difference? No. There's a button behind the curtain. Push it. Oh, that's not good. That's me falling. Okay, I lived. That's not so bad. Ooh, a naked lady. What? Oh, she hit me because I looked at her naked. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, get away from... Yikes. Hands off, buddy. There you are. Found me. You get prize. What did I get? A chef's talent. There's something on the ground. Obtain the wooden fish head. Okay. Bye, weird stretching man. 
I'm gonna try the other door. <clears throat> Mannequins. Always a fun time. There are many taxidermied animals inside. Oh, there's my fish. Do something on top that you can't reach. Damn it, Finana, get down here. Yeah, I'm trying to push it. <laughs> that was the plan. Yeah, this is fine. Wait, it doesn't want to be pushed anymore. <laughs> get on back here. Where do you think you go with your nice heel? The stool grew four legs. Um, look at the feet, yo. Show me those footsies. There's a high-heeled shoe on each foot. One of the legs is missing a shoe. I, I think I see something blue in here. It's just taxidermied animals. There's something blue up here, too. There are dirty shoes and gloves inside. You see a small blue high heel at the bottom. Obtain the glass heel. Oh, it's a glass heel. Is it going to shatter and damage this poor thing? Give high heel. Wait, let me listen. From under the skirt like cloth, you can hear a faint moaning sound. Oh, she's having a good time. You know what? I'm done. Just take your high heel. You put on the glass heel. Oh, she's friend. Oh. The body blocking me. Get over here. Stop there. Um, get on the stool. Obtained wooden fish tail. You know what? I'm glad she's having a good time. She's in pleasure. I'm in pleasure. I got a fish. I'm having a good time. Down we get, Eve. You combine the wooden fish head with the wooden fish tail. Obtain the fish sculpture. Okay, you have fun, Stall. I'm proud of you. I'm surprised none of these tried to kill me. Ah, here you go, cat. There's a fish-shaped hole in the wall. Insert. Jam it in. And everybody's satisfied. You can't see the options. God damn it. I need to, yeah. Make sure I pay attention when we get more options. Unbalanced box. Clockwork plant. A flower pot with a small sprout inside. And that doesn't help. <laughs> Just when you've forgotten, beware of raging lips. Nope. I'm good without the hung upside down, children. There's a sprout shaped. Oh, yeah, I am right on top. Okay. Um, Let me move up here. There we go. I'm with you guys for today. Be gentle. Be nice. There's a sprout shaped wind up key on the floor. Let's turn it. Oh, oh, right. I shouldn't touch the lips. <laughs> I immediately saw lips and was like, hey, fun. Are these guys going to grab me? Maybe not. Oh, oh, no. I've got enough energy in my rose for now. The liar's room. Hmm. There's an odd one out. Is there? The correct tile is F6. The correct tile is B2. The one in white speaks the truth. C5, that's the correct tile. The only truthful one is the one in green. I agree with the one in yellow. What did yellow say? The one in white speaks the truth? I mean... Three of you say C5, but I like this one. The only truthful one is the one in green. F6. I believe in F6. There's an odd one out, and there's only one that tells it. Well, technically, that would mean two told the truth. Crap! Correct tile is B2. No one says anything about brown. Three, like, confirmed together. This one confirmed. Yeah, okay, it's got to be brown. That one odd one out. The correct tile is B2. B2. There's a loose tile at your feet. Remove it. Hey! Oh, God. I really didn't think I'd get that right. There's a sprout-shaped wind-up key. Turn it. 
Oh, unless that was wrong. Uh oh. <laughs> then again. Oh, he killed them all. Um. The painting. Liar. 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 Well. At least the blood's still dripping. So. They all killed the one who told the truth, huh? That's kind of mean. Oh, I grew the tree. Are you going to spit at me again? Oh, the spit does damage? That's some BS. You guys hurt me? Or are you friends? A doll is dangling from the ceiling. Oh! There's a doll on the ground. Sprout-shaped key. Anybody else want to do a little dive? Anyone going to do a flip? No? Okay. I think I've got a big enough tree anyway. I'm going to heal myself, though. The red rose returned to health. Good. Clockwork plant. The tree in the plot grew a blue fruit. Let's take it. Obtained the blue fruit. Should I eat it? Oh, damn, dude. Fine. I forgot to get stay away from the edges. I'm turning further. Do you want a blue fruit? Hungry. Give food. That food. Give to me, Seymour. Give it the blue fruit. Sure. Place the blue fruit in the mouth. This tasty. You good. Let you pass. Go through my mouth. Okay, but I don't want to come out the other end. Oh, yeah, okay. You have a big mouth. This is good. Guillotines. I'm going to stay away from them. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> I won't give up. Okay. <laughs> stay away from the walls again. Give blue fruit. To be fair, I didn't think it would come into the real world. I thought it would like... Wait. I'm getting eaten? What the hell? I didn't take the blue fruit. Did I save before I healed? Huh? Okay, I'm loading. That's some BS. I saved after I healed, but before I took the blue fruit. Okay. That was weird of me. Yeah, nice try. I know your tricks now, hand. Give. It was eating you. Yeah, it was giving me a little love bite. Honestly, not against it. Better than whatever this is. Okay, so. Up, 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 back. Nice try. Bye. <laughs> so be ready for crazy shit like that happening. Ooh. A bird with a trumpet? Breath. It is blowing out air through the trumpet. And there are wings and rain. Is it the coming of days, the end of times? It was giving you a hickey? Yeah, honestly. Oh. So somethinging something. So sucking monster, I don't know. Maybe there's something in here. Nope. Another save. They give you a lot of saves in this game. Too deep? Yeah, I'm eight years old. This is way too deep for me. Something pattern. Can't even really imagine what that is. Shut. Open. Okay, mothers with your little babies. Oh, the girl in red. The lady in red. Oh, hey. I mean, I'm not against it. Oh, she gets faster when I get further away. Obtain the red key. Heart wounds. Smoking something. He's making a heart with a smoke. Heartbeat. Everything's kind of heart related in here. 
Come on, lady. Do a circle. There you go. Bye bye. Use the red key. The woman in the canvas. Oh, she's knocking. <laughs> the woman here. Oh, the women. The women here quickly grow fond of humans. Once their sights are set, they become quite something. They'll continue to blank chase you until they're satisfied, it seems. Anywhere. Everywhere. To the ends of the earth. But if they have one weakness, it's that they can't open doors on their own. Aw, poor her. There's a bookmark with writing on it stuck between two books. Having fun? Yeah, actually, this has been fantastic. What's the password? Oh, don't bully the poor woman. She can't even open doors. She's like the aliens from Signs. It's embarrassing. Art galleries of the world. It's filled with pictures of different galleries. Moving storybook written slash drawn by this person. Carrie Careless and the Gallant de Roy. It's a storybook drawn in crayon. Yeah! Oh, this is so cute. Oh, you can turn down the, not the volume. Oh, you can only mute it. Happy birthday! Thanks, guys. For your special day, we made a galette de roi. What's that? There's a coin in this pie. And if you find the slice with the coin in it, then you'll have good luck. That sounds like fun. Doesn't it? Okay, let's divide it up. Now pick which slice you want. Let's eat. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, when is it? I think I just swallowed something. Oh, she swallowed the damn coin. What do I do? It's fine. It's just a little coin. Oh, I'll clean up now. What's wrong, Mom? Have you seen the key to the study? To the study? It's always right here on this table. Ah, it's the coin. The coin that should have gone in the pie. Oh, she swallowed the key instead. I wonder if... Where could it have gone? Oh, your father will be so upset. What do I do? No, don't cut it out of her. Oi, oi, oi. Guess I was just as careless as Carrie. Found the key. <laughs> I'll open the door now. Oh, dear God. That story was twisted. <laughs> yep, you were just as careless as Carrie. You got to clear up your mistakes. <laughs> Wonderful bedtime story. What have we got? Eternal blessing. A vase full of water. Nah, I'm good. Got full health. Great old children's stories. Yeah, I love traumatizing children. Blank under cloth. You and the rose are... You must learn the weight of life. Oh, this is the same thing we had before. Oh, I've been here. There are blue petals on the ground. They're leading me somewhere. The window is so foggy you can't see outside. And it's locked. There are blue petals on the ground. The lady in blue. Oh, she's under there, isn't she? Oh, wait. Get out. Quit hiding. Okay, you do your thing. We'll go find a different lady in blue. Underwear. Don't. Stop. <laughs> hey, it's the purple head old lady. Living mountain. You know what? I want to deal with your shit. Oh, there's a lady in blue. You know what? Maybe I do want to deal with your shit. Blank art. Hello, old lady. Lightly tap shoulder, say something or observe. I'm just going to stare at them. You look closely and notice he's gripping a key. That's my key now. Obtain the small key. Bye. Should I? I mean, maybe I should wake them up. I, I don't, don't think they should die like this. Uh, lightly tap. Well, let's say something first. It hurts. He's in pain. Uh, lightly tap shoulder. <laughs> He's in a lot of pain. If I had a knife, I could put him out of his misery. Blank art. Okay, I'll go through the red door. Bye, dude. If you gave me your flower, I might be able to fix it for you, but no. Um, 
Um, blue petals. Oh, is that because his flower is broken? Maybe we need to find his broken flower and give it some life. Use the small key. Oh, there's a woman in blue. She's destroying his rose, huh? Lady, I need that. Loop de loop. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that almost worked. Yep. Rose with hardly any petals. Obtain the blue rose. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Knock all you want. Oh, God. She can go through the window, though. There's no water in the vase. Right. Next vase. Place blue rose. The blue rose returned to health. It's mine now. I have double the health. Double the roses. Nobody will ever defeat me again. Now I can defeat the blue lady. The headless statue. <sighs> Fine. If I must. What up, kiddo? Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're an anime protagonist if I've ever seen one. Let's see. This is definitely a Dark Flame Master kind of character. Um... The chuny power inside of me. There we go. Uh, what's this? The pain's faded. Mm. Ah! What is it this time? I have nothing left for you to take. I'm just a normal human. I'm not a painting. Wait. Dear me, could you be... A person? From the gallery? You are, aren't you? Oh, thank heavens. There's someone here besides me. God damn it. He gets his own theme? Okay. <laughs> I see. And you wouldn't know a thing about how or why of all this either. The how or why of all this either, huh? I went through pretty much the same as what you described, too. Right down to these roses. Pain runs through me if the petals are plucked. I thought I was a goner there. Thank you for getting it back. Now, first things first. Shall we look for a way out? His hair is wild, but the jacket's even more wild. <laughs> I like this kid. He's just styling it up. Came to a gallery by himself. Probably like 15 years old. I think I'll go mad if I stay in this dreadful place for too long. Ah, uh, I still haven't asked your name. My, that was rude of me. He's kind of adorable, too. You know what? He does remind me of the kid from Psyche. I called him the Dark Flame Master, but I should have called him Judgment Night of. He reminds me of that kid that, like, talks about the Dark Reunion trying to hunt him down. He's, like, adorable. He's friendly. He's innocent. But he's also super tuny. <laughs> Chat, please look at the rules of the stream. Like, they're in the description of every video. Please do read them. Do not spoil. You will get timed out. In fact, if you, I see you spoil something and I think it's really a spoiler, I may even ban you, so be careful. Kaido? Yeah, Kaido from Psyche K. Love that kid. <laughs> but yeah, also, yeah, read the rules. There's lots of rules. Uh, I still haven't asked your name. My, that was rude of me. Well, my name's Gary, with two R's for some reason. I've never seen that before. And you are... Pound. Pound, you say? No, it's Eve. Eve, you say? <laughs> I saw someone at the beginning say they used to read Eve as LB as well. I definitely did that at one point. I was like, Lib? Pound? I don't get it. <laughs> it's dangerous for a child to wander here alone. So I'll accompany you, okay? Now, let's go, Eve. Oh my god, even his expressions remind me of Kaido. <laughs> Oh, he's such a pathetic man. I love it. It's dangerous for a child to go alone. Oh, God, the painting spit it at me. No. I... I was just a little startled. Really, nothing more than that. Anyway, we ought to keep an eye open for bizarre things like that. Oh, I can talk with him now. At any rate, I'll be happy to stick with you until we find an exit. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not defending me. I'm defending you. <laughs> a headless statue. This thing sure is in a lousy place. 
Step back a bit, would you, Eeb? And heave! Oh, good. He's stronger than me. Ta-da! Now we can proceed. All right, off we go. I gotta be honest. You had me until you said ta-da. Ooh, grabby hands. I must read the note. Even though this will probably take my health. Bride's left hand. Oh, we're good. Bride's right hand. She has two hands. Why does she only have one husband? Grieving groom. Oh. Grieving bride. I guess if you lose your hands, you're not too happy. Oh, look at the kitty. Something strange is blocking the door. Observe. Its back is slowly going up and down. It doesn't appear to be a stuffed animal. No, it's clearly breathing. I'm going to push it. Have Gary move it. Is this too a piece of art? Well, it's in a rather annoying position. Let's get this out of the way, shall we? Ow! What was that? It's alive? Eeb! We shouldn't touch this thing. It has extending spikes of some kind. That's why I used you, buddy. Why do you suppose this frame is so low to the ground? For me to look at. Fluffy meow meow? Not anymore. <laughs> now it's a spiky meow meow. Listen to the teapot's demands. What do you require, red teapot? There's text engraved on the large teapot. Teacups won't stop until they bump into something. Delightful. We pour tea only into cups of the same color. Indeed. It does seem there are four teapots and four cups. One in each of the four colors. Common sense dictates that teacups move in straight lines. Teacups are not permitted to be picked up. Okay, so we have to slide them across the floor like an ice sliding box. Got ya. The sense... The sense sensitive porcupus. Sense sensitive porcupus. Now that's an odd one. Why not porcupine? Porcupus. I like porcupine. Oh, that's the kitty. Oh, so it's because of our scent. Maybe if we give it some tea, it'll be like, ah, oh, delightful. Now I will roll over. Hmm. And let's just go with that. It sounds cuter after all. Gretina certainly uses some odd words, though. Little wonder you need help understanding them. But I didn't. Why is he like this? Okay, first observation. Does it stop at the end of the line? It does. Good. One teacup complete. Okay, to get to the green... I've already fucked up. <laughs> um, to get to the yellow is very easy once I move the blue. To get to the green, I have to use the blue like this. And then to get to the blue is pretty impossible from that point onwards. Unless... Shit. <laughs> Can't get to that side. Poop, poop, poopsicles. Um, I can't move this anywhere but up or down. Am I going insane? I might be going insane. Hey, yeah, that does nothing. I mean, I guess I could just line up everything but the blue and then let's see what happens. Oh. Damn it. Now we're stuck on the same conundrum. Unless... Ah. Ah. Uh, no. Shit. Mm. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard, actually. Uh, I can do is... This, and then, what well, now? Yes, now? Hmm. This to get the blue home. But then how do I get the green home? Like this. 
and then the red is fucked. Shit! God damn it! Hmm. Aggravation. Oh man. So close. Yeah, it's always one off. Hmm. Do, do, do. I need that one to be two away. Shh. Is there a way to restart? Yeah, I'm sure if I just leave the room and come back in, it will restart. Hmm. The yellow one's the easy one. The yellow one's the one I should be knocking around. The yellow one goes back into a corner, so that's the one I should mess with. Um, like so? No. Because then I can't... Oh, wait. Yeah. No, I can't knock it down. Damn it! Stupid red one! Why you like this red? We're supposed to bring order to the balance, not destroy it. Um... Um, I just moved the red one somewhere. Oh, then I can put the red one back. Okay, that makes... But then I wouldn't be able to push the red. Shit! Unless I do this. Oh, no, then I can't move the green down. This? But then I need to... Okay, I'm leaving the room and coming back in. That... How does it start? The yellow is the one I have to do last because the yellow just goes into the corner. Everything else needs to be properly ordered. So let's start with green. Green, nice and easy. It's easy to get one in one direction. And red would be next. Red is hard. Red's in the middle of everything. Um. Oh. Oh. Boom. Boom. Okay, let's think about this. Let's not think about this. <laughs> let's press random buttons. Okay, I need to get the yellow up to the top right corner somehow. Which honestly, shouldn't be too hard. No, the red's got to be in the way. Frick! Man! How? Wait, was it? yeah, the red's in the way. Son of a... Oh, I can do it this way. Nah, I can't get it to the top right corner. Man! Stupid red! Why are you everywhere, red? Uh, I mean, I can use the red to get the blue in, but then I get the problem of freaking... Ah! I do this. Oh, okay, okay. No, I still can't push the blue right. I hate this. Maybe restart. Why would I restart when I'm still kind of like, it wouldn't change anything. Fuck okay. it. Okay. Yellow is last. Last time we did green first. This time let's do blue first. Blue again can be nice and easy if I just do mm, this. And then I can get red there. Do I want to get red there yet though? Green, how do I get green over there? Just need one more in the corner. So yeah, actually red. And then use yellow to get green there. Oh, it was really that easy, huh? Okay. God, it really was only like a five-step equation if you actually thought about it instead of just started pushing things. <laughs> the smell of tea began to waft through the room. May I have some? A strong smelling tea. A stronger smell. Wait. Oh, they're all strong smelling. Although that's stronger. <laughs> oh, the cat finally formed. A sense, sense, sense sensitive porcupine, whatever. Now, where have I, now, where have I seen this face before? His voice has changed so many times. I was hilarious yet frustrating. Good. Oh, the tail. 
It looks like a tail. But Wayne, never mind that. That strange thing in front of the door is gone. That That's clearly the cat, dude, but okay. Gary. Wow, we get a third player. Once you push them wrong, it almost looks like it becomes impossible. Yeah, you just have to actually think about it. Maybe I should check the other area before I go in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Leave the room and all will be as it was. Ah, okay. Let's just trial and error this bitch. Yep, fucked up. My bad. Don't go left. Boop, boop. Can you even do this? I mean... Yeah. There's something on the stall. Obtain the eye drops. Also, that final image looks like it's giving me the finger and I don't like it. I got eye drops. Where's that? Ooh, you look like you could use some eye drops, sir. <laughs> flowers flowers are nice give me that damn flower and i'll let you through <laughs> your flower pretty please no i just want it for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the joke. Painting of a white snake. Looking closer, the eye part is sunken in. Aw, buddy, you want some eye drops? Apparently not. Painting of a coffee cup and cake. Painting of an upside down woman. Painting of what looks like icebergs. A woman looks like she's resting on a bed of tentacles. Frankly, I've seen enough other artwork to know where that is going. Okay, I have eye drops and now I have wine. Wine sofa. That does not look comfortable to sit in. A giant wine glass cut diagonally with a red cushion inside. Thank you, Gary. Gary gets it. Wait. Jojo style. Yeah, everything has to... There we go. That doesn't look very comfortable to sit on. Melancholy. You're not sure how to say this word. Melancholy, huh? Well, really, who wouldn't be in this place? Puzzle. A colorful skeleton. Yeah, it's made up of different pieces. These aren't real bones, surely. Oh, that's an evil monster-looking tree. <laughs> Feeling? A tree sculpture that vaguely resembles a person. It takes a clever mind to come up with this stuff. They, they, they hedge trimmed a tree to look like a person. That is a shrubbery, sir. But why am I here? Do you want eye drops? No. Can I have your brain? No. Can I pet the monster? <laughs> why, why am I here? I had to unlock this shit. Looks like Kobayeda from Danganronpa. He kind of does, actually. Let me save real quick. Mm. Oh, do you guys want the eye drops? Breathing bride. No. Breathing groom. No. Right hand, left hand. Do I really have to give away my flower? I feel like that's going to kill me. Oh. That's what wants the eye drops. Yeah. What is that? Gross. Why are there eyes on the floor? Oh, no. They're just doing their thing. Use eye drops. Wait, no. Stare back first. Hey. Okay. You stare long enough into the eye. The eye stares back at you. Um, Eve, what are you doing? Just being friendly. Hide the eye drops to the eye. The eye was cured. Oh, look at him go. Hey, buddy. The eye you gave the eye drops is staring towards the wall. Hmm. The wall here looks unusual. You found a secret passage. There's something at your feet. Obtain the red glass ball. Red glass ball. Um, a lovely little red ball. It shines like a gem. Oh, do I give that to the white snake? Albino snake, sick. Insert the red glass ball. Ooh, thank you, white snake. I love your legend too. 
and the Donghua movie based off of you. There's writing on the back of the frame. On the back of the white bust's head. Okay. Let's go get busty. A good idea. Oh, come on. <laughs> 9 out of 10. Not bad. Something stuck in the head. A ring. Now, what would this be doing here? Paying the silver ring. Well, do I give it to the wife or the husband? Uh, I'm going to give it to the wife. Bride's left hand. Wait. Bride's right hand. I mean, they're both grieving. Let me save real quick. If you're grieving, you move it to your right hand because your partner is dead. But maybe it'll make it happy if I put her on the wedding hand. I'll put it on the grieving hand. Put on fourth finger over, also known as the ring finger. Ow! Fine, I'll get you married. Fourth finger over. Right? I mean, thumb, second, middle, fourth. Yeah, fourth. There you go. Okay. Oh, because they lost the wing they were grieving. Oh, I got a new flower. There's a bouquet on the ground. Obtain the bouquet. That means I get to get married soon. Sweet. But they're grieving that they lost it. Now, you see, how was I supposed to know that pink nightshade? I thought they were grieving for anything in this creepy area. Could have been that they were dead. It could have been that their hands are coming out of the ground. They don't have hands anymore. Could have been anything. Give me that there flower and I'll let you through. <laughs> Your flower, pretty please. Have a bouquet. Hand it over the bouquet. <laughs> Thanks. It smells nice. <laughs> well, chow time. Oh, he ate the flowers. Okay. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. As promised, you can take this door. Be seeing ya. <laughs> Oh, I do not like this immediately. <laughs> this is the worst thing we've seen so far. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, don't look at me. Quit it painting. Ah, a new woman coming out of a painting. And so many... Oh, woman in white, though. What do you want, my lady? The lady gazing at emptiness. Oh. My, this painting has a different feel from the other painted ladies. I agree. It's a video. Those creepy pitch black eyes. I'd prefer to keep my distance. I'd prefer to let them suck me in. The eyes. Nothing else. Don't be weird. <laughs> Putting that out there right now. The eyes suck me in, like, attention-wise. Input the four numbers hidden in the painting, then knock upon the door. Four numbers? Hmm. I take it hidden in the painting means that there's a hint in some painting. I mean, there's lots to choose from. Painting of a woman. Be careful. I was attacked by a painting just like this. You knew that? Uh, right, of course. You got my rose back from her. Uh, I'm impressed you were able to get away. A painting of a woman. A painting of a woman. Ooh. A golden elephant with a lamp hanging from it. Lady reading the newspaper. It's dark here, so it's hard to read the news. Um, can I pull this? Oh, come on. I guess I have to fix the lamp somehow. self -sessed. She's called my daughter sister wife for a reason. Edley statue. Edley statue. Edley statue. Oh, that one looks real creepy. <laughs> That's a big woman in red. Guardian of time. Writing appeared on the dial. Give me a petal from your rose. In exchange, when you are in danger, I will save you. Mm, what should we do, Gary? Uh, do you believe this clock, Eve? I, I'm sorry, but I can't. I don't want to give up any petals. A shame. A hanging white cage. Hmm. Let's see. If we pull down this cage. The gate here will rise up, yes? Simple enough. <laughs> 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 this 
sorry. As I feared, brute force won't work here. <laughs> Come on, dude. You didn't even try properly. <laughs> but it's an angelic clock. It's cute. You give it your life force. I ain't sharing my life force with a stupid clock. There are bars blocking the door. Hey, lady, you have big grabby hands. Red cloth step. So many paintings. Oh, just of a... Ooh, there's something on the ground. Obtained ball with a hole. Painting of a woman. Yeah, I figured. I stole her ball. This is on me. Headless statue. Headless statue. The hanged man. Ah, oh, yes. This is one of the paintings in the art gallery. Want to get a better look, Gary? How about you stick your face real close? Oh. 6952. Or 2569. We'll find out. 6952. 2569. 6952. 2569. How do I get out of here? Um. 6952. 2569. 6952 two, 2569 6952 There's no keyhole. Okay. So what was it? Nine five two upside down. Oh the lady's coming. Uh, is five two six nine. Five two six Nine. Huh? Well, it was five two six nine. Niji Sanji. If only it were always that easy. Ba 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 boop. Six nine five two or two five six nine. Huh? Did I fuck up? I thought I put in two five six nine. Oh five two. I'm an idiot. Oh god. There we go. It seems the door unlocked. There's something in front of the mirror. Obtain the golden fish. Hey, golden fish. Bum, 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 bum. What's this? A bottle of a fish? It has a horn-like protrusion. Ah, that strange ball we picked up would fit perfectly on it. And combine the golden fish and the ball with the hole. Obtain the golden lamp. Oh, it's bright, so the ball was a light bulb. What a bright idea. A large mirror. <laughs> God, he's so chewy. What is this cabbage head? Oh, I love him. Was his hair always like that? I don't feel like it was. Oh, what's this written on the mirror? Oh, I'm also adorable. Look at me with that little flower. She's so small. Yeah, she is. He calls himself an adult. He looks like 16, 17 to me. He's tall. Don't get me wrong. He just doesn't look like an adult to me. A fragment of the fish is by the yellow lady. Oh, we already did that part. A fragment of the fish? Could this be referring to the light bulb we attached to it? In that case, well, we already found it. God, I love his expressions. Oh, hey, a face. <laughs> what, what, what is that? You, why you? You know, I'm gonna let you... Click it. You, you kick it, Gary. You deserve your revenge. Oh, that's seven years bad luck right there, my man. Oh, you didn't break the mirror. Still not cool. It just said peekaboo and you murdered it. <sighs> See? It's just a mannequin. Well, let's get going, Eve. Maybe I should reload. That might be bad. <laughs> Oh, now there's two of them looking at me. A mannequin head and a mannequin head. Welp, did you save Fu? Nope. So don't spoil, guys. Let me use that as a lantern. Golden elephant. Say, what do you have there? A brightly shining map. Would you train me for that elephant? Hmm. I think I could. Sure. Thank you. And the elephant's yours. Obtain the golden elephant. Ah, it's bright. How wonderful. Newspaper spread out on the floor. 
Oh, they locked off the exit too. Fun. Maybe I should save on a different save slot this time. Oh yeah. Okay, do you want an elephant? Red cloth step. Something has to happen with that lady. Hello, sir. Would you like an elephant instead of that bird? Noble boasting of gold. Oh, that golden elephant. How big and beautiful. Would you trade it for this golden bird? Sure. Well then, shall we just put the elephant here? And taking this bird, the trade's complete. Obtain the golden bird. Thank you. Oh, what a big and beautiful golden elephant. It's not made of real gold, but sure. Let him enjoy it, Gary. Maybe he's just having a fun time. Okay, I have a golden bird. Would you like a golden bird, my lady? I guess not. Oh. Things don't sound so good in here. <laughs> ah. Eeb. I don't think there's any more to find here. Let's leave now. No, what, what did you look at over here? Earlier, a visitor was found damaging one of the displays. If you see them, please report to the staff at once. The poster's coming off the wall. Oh, Gary's about to die. This is because he kicked the thing, isn't it? Pull it off. Hanged Gary. Oh. A vase filled with red fluid? Uh, not yet. I will put my rose in that and see what happens. But first. Wonderful days. The gallery is like a spooky amusement park with lots of peculiar things. It's so much fun playing here. The day's over before you know it. Isn't it a fantastic place? Why don't you join me here? You'll never be lonely with all this company. Poor hanged, Gary. Let me place my rose. What are you doing? That's clearly dangerous, isn't it? Fine. Don't let me have fun, Gary. Oh, so it doesn't actually kill him? That's sad. Would you like a bird? <laughs> How about you? Oh, a bird in a cage. That makes sense. Put the golden bird in. Damn, that's a heavy bird. Well, is that bird really so heavy? Well, at any rate, let's hurry and take a look inside. Without securely guarded, this room was. There's sure to be something. Perhaps an exit. Do you want him to die? I want people to stop trying to backseat me, so the more people tell me to reload, the more I'm damn well set on not reloading, yes. If you're tired, why not rest? You'll never suffer again. I mean... No, thank you. There's something sitting on the frame. Obtain the gray key. It's mommy and daddy. Ah, uh, another gray key. No exit for us this time. Hmm. Eeb? Is something the matter? Huh? The people in this painting are your mom and dad? Huh? Now that you, not that you mention it. Wait, not that you mention it. Now that you mention it. I can see the resemblance. But why would such a painting be down here, I wonder? Uh, where are they? Mm. Well, I can't say that I know either. Don't worry. They must be somewhere. I thought she was a tough kid. It's surely getting to her after all. She just wants her parents, man. It doesn't mean she's not tough. What was that sound just now? Mother and father. I don't know what that sound was. Shall we take a seat upon the sofa? Ah, huh. that went better than expected. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Can I sit on the sides? No, only on the middle. Okay. We'll never suffer again. Doesn't feel right, but ah, uh, the door won't open. What? 
Are you kidding me? The door was wide open. Th that noise. Is that coming from outside? This could be bad. Be careful, Eeb. Oh. Knock, knock. That's just a blue painting lady. I've dealt with many a blue painting lady before. Oh, God. Okay. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Shit. Oh, they only damaged you. I thought it was insta death. Why are there so many mannequins? What's going on? I think we'd better get away from here and quick. Eve, look. See that locked door over there? That great key we picked up should be able to open it. It has to. Let's make our way over. You won't escape. Yeah, I guess that pissed at me because of the whole Gary killing them thing. Honestly, fair. Yeah, always in such inconvenient locations. We can take a shortcut if we go through these, all right? <laughs> you know what, Gary? You're already a dead man. Go ahead. Out of the way. Now let's hurry. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die so bad. Use the gray key. Oh, the faces look more fucked up than. Oh, they're crying blood. Well, Gary's so dead. <laughs> is Gary even with me? Okay, he is. <laughs> break one, you can break them all. I mean, we've committed at this point, so. <laughs> <sighs> That it should be far enough, I think. We certainly showed them my... Well then, why am I kneeling down? Let's keep moving. Eeb? You look pale. Are you okay? E Eeb! Stay with me now. Eeb? Eeb! Huh. Interesting. You can't find your red rose. Zero. One. Shit, I can't get to two. Okay, let's just exp- Oh, not the mannequins. Wherever you go, everyone's watching. Eeb, where are you? You better run quick or I'll catch up. Oh, what do I do? I've searched everywhere, but I can't find her. Maybe you shouldn't have been playing hide and seek. Oh, okay. Can't save there. Hey, my rose. Oh, nope. That's dead too. Lots of doors. And there's mommy. Where did that girl get to? She has to go off on her own than this. What a bother. If she doesn't hurry, we won't be able to leave. Lots of doors. Lots and lots and lots of doors. So many doors, you don't even know. Nothing but doors and doors. I really thought one of them would have like a secret. Damn it. Blue lady, red lady, green lady, yellow lady, blue lady, red lady, yellow lady, green lady. Mother and father. Are they going to chase? Nope. The exit is ahead. That's a head. Oh, it's the lady in white. What's up, a video? I wonder what happens when I get grabbed when I don't even have a rose. Oh, I was lied to. Well, I'm alive. <laughs> ah, oh, he even put his jacket on me. How adorable. And he filled my rose with water. That's cute. Rice and shiny, but how do you feel? I had a nightmare. I see. You poor thing. I can't say I'm surprised. You've been put through such frightful things. Perhaps I should have woken you. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. Can I get up now? <laughs> Eve, would you dig in the pocket of that coat? There's a piece of candy. You can have that. Feel free to eat it. Don't trust Gary. <laughs> don't eat the candy. I don't believe him. Now, let's rest here a while longer before we set out again. Oh, that's right. I placed your rose in the vase there. Thank you, Gary. 
Still not eating the candy. You offer an eight-year-old candy, I don't trust you. Rules of the gallery. No loud conversation. No photography. No food or drink. No fountain pens. No leaving this place. Untitled. Oh, this looks like the one in the center of my thumbnail. I like that. Gary, <laughs> I'll eat all your candy. Okay, I'm glad Gary has some friends. Oh, tells you how many artworks you found as well. We're up to 48 out of 150. Not bad. Two hours? That's a lie. What? <laughs> okay. The game's confusing me. Your roses in the vase. Regain the red rose. Fun pictures. It's filled with lots of large drawings. Ah, uh, you can sleep if you want, okay? This room seems safe. Make sure to get some good rest while we're here. Yeah, I don't like it. He's trying to give me candy and put me to sleep. I'm not a fan. The women here like to play loves me, loves me not. Oh, yeah, they should stop trying to do it with my flower, though. Gary's coat. Pick up. Yeah, buddy, let's get moving. Oh, my coat. How thoughtful of you, Eber. Hand it over the coat. Hmm? My coat's all torn and ragged? Oh, no, no, that's on purpose. That's just how it's designed. No, to be sure, it is getting a bit worn for many years of use. So which is it, buddy? Can't accept love, foo? Nah, I'm just too sealed off from it, man. Eb, you ready to set up again? Set off again? Yes. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, this room really was just at the end of the hall. Nope, enough of that direction. But but he wasn't here with me. Now that I think about it, Gary wasn't there when I. That was all in my dream. Strange. A headless statue. Hmm. I can't push it from this side. You walk with a rugged look. <laughs> I wouldn't even say rugged. He's chewy. He's cute, though. He is very adorable. Honestly, I probably would trust his candy, but... No. Not when he's already gonna die. Milk puzzle? Eeb, have you heard of milk puzzles? No. Well, they're puzzles where all the pieces are white like milk, hence the name. Since there's no picture on them, they're much harder than regular puzzles. You don't even get a reward for finishing them, though. That's sad. Very smart people can finish them in no time at all, but... To be honest, they're not exciting, since they don't even make a picture in the end. It was much more worth it to do a puzzle of a picture you like. Exactly. Oh, there's flower petals coming out of this. Fleeting thoughts on a moonlit night. It's beautiful. Okay, what have we got here? Oranges, pinks, hmm. But I could push them, but I can't. <laughs> well, oh, it's like that. Okay, that makes sense. So if I touch orange, huh? That was easy. A large mirror. Hey, it's us again. And this time nothing snuck up behind you, so that's a good start. Question mark. I find myself... My finger over her. Beautiful... Oh, that's not a book we should be reading, Eve. And as she lay there... My... I... Gary closed the book. Good job, Gary. <laughs> you should wait until you're older to read this kind of thing. I agree. Oop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that should do it. I'm proud of you, Gare Bear. I'm gonna call him Gare Bear from now on. Ooh, what are you? Separation. What an off-putting painting. Painting? Painting. <laughs> what? The lights! It's too dark to see. Eeb, are you there? 
I'm not. What are you saying? Of course you're here. Still, this is a problem. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot I had a lighter. We could have... Ooh. A notice to all visitors. The gallery has a strict ban on fire starting implements. We request that you not bring in items like matches or lighters should the use of such items be reported to the staff. You're gonna die again, Gab. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Goodbye. Um. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Yeah, if he had a lighter, why didn't he just help the woman see the newspaper with the lighter? We didn't have to do that whole fetch quest. <laughs> God damn it, Gary. I don't think this is good for my mental health. Okay. That's a big blood stain. Good thing I moved the statue out of the way first. Well. Ooh. That scared the shit out of me. That's one scare for this game. Good job. Little blonde girl trying to murder me. That, that, that's bad. <sighs> oh, she ran into us. Whoa. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, wait. Say, are you... Could you be one of the visitors of the gallery? Ah. Uh, as I thought. How come she got to start so far forward in? My name's Gary. And this girl here is Eeb. We too are at the art gallery, but soon found ourselves lost in this place. So we're working together to try and find a way out. I presume it's the same story for you. Never presume anything, Gary. When you do, you press you to me. Wait, that sounds dirty. Never assume anything, Gary, because when you do, you make an ass of you and me. Oh god, maybe you don't presume either. I... I was looking to see if there was anyone else too. I wanted to get out, so I... As I thought. Well then, would you like to come with us? Huh? It's dangerous to be alone here. There's a lot of strange creatures around. So will you come with us? I think it'd be best if we all stayed together. I like her eyes. They are huge. Yeah, I'll come. Then it's decided. Oh, what's your name? Mary. Oh, God. Mary. Last time we met a Mary, she was a witch, so... <laughs> Mary, then. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Um, nice to meet you, Eeb. I didn't say my name. Yeah, you look sad. Who are you? Uh, er, I apologize on her behalf. She's a bit tuckered out. Gary said your name? Well, screw him. <laughs> Names have power. That's dangerous. People shouldn't introduce other people. But I'm sure she'll feel a bit better having you around, Mary. So get along, won't you? Okay. All right. And with a new companion, let's proceed with our spirits high. Yay. <laughs> God. I, I think she's evil still. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I think she's evil. I've got candy. It has a nice lemony smell. Do you want it, Mary? Say, Mary, you came from this way, didn't you? Were there other routes? Roots? I don't know. I walked a bunch, so I'm not sure. Ah, well, for all we know, a path could appear where there once once a wall, like earlier. Well, honestly, if it were a straight path, that wouldn't bode well. The Force of Quarrel. Just two people fighting each other, man. Which one is it really? I I don't know. Ah, oh, that's right. Seeing as Eve and I both have roses. Mary, do you perhaps have a rose as well? Yeah, I do. A yellow rose. Ah, so you do. You should keep them safe. Don't you dare lose it. Don't give it to anyone. And Wow. Eve's rose is red. My rose is yellow. I like yellow, but I also like pink. Oh, and blue. <laughs> I love her. She acts like an actual child. Eve is just so silent throughout all of this, but she's just like, Oh, I like yellow and blue and pink. And what were you saying, Gary? Oh, by the way, there's a monster behind you. <laughs> Learn to listen, would you? Oh, she's just doing her own thing. Let her do her own thing. Flowers of jealousy. Yakimochi no hana. 
least it's not Aku no Hana. It could be worse. Do not keep trying to make me save over things. Might have to go backwards eventually. Oh, it's a pink Barney. Red eyes. For the love of this painting, this room, why is it all so unsettling? Huh? Really? I think it's cute. Oh, what about this is cute? I just think it is. What about Eeb? I want to pet it. Eeb, you really like this kind of thing? I can hardly stomach it. Gary, it's a pink bunny rabbit. Do you think that the little children are not going to love that shit? I want to ride it myself and I'm 31 years old. I want to pull it by the ears while I ride it to guide it left and right. You think a child's not going to love that dreamlike scenario? Gary, you're just a weirdo. You're the weirdos. Ugh, never mind that. Let's investigate this place and get out of here already. I feel like I'm being watched in here. It makes me restless. Well, we haven't found the key yet, so suck it up, kiddo. Ruin of the mind. If your mind suffers too much, you will soon start to hallucinate. And in the end, it will break apart. And more worrying yet is that you'll not even be aware of the fact. Well, something gleams amid the shards. Obtained the violet key. Anybody else want to break? I could use more items. Okay. Violet key it is. Oh, hey. There's a sound coming from the painting. Huh? That sounds getting closer. Uh oh. Oh god. Something came up from the floor. This seems bad. Get away from the painting. He bought out. Bye, Gebe. Have fun over there. Are you two alright? <sighs> that scared me. What about Eeb? Are you hurt? That was indeed scary. I am much terrified as an eight year old child. I just, I'm now loving the idea of Eve just like speaking in a grown man's voice. Just like, yes, I am scared, Gary. I want to ride the pink bunny, Gary. Gary, give me the candy, Gary. <laughs> it was certainly sudden, so it caught us off guard. But I'm glad to hear that nobody's hurt. But with these things in the way, I can't get over there. Breaking them is probably impossible. They're absolutely huge. Oh, what to do? Hey, Eve, you got a key in that room, right? Maybe that key opens that door there. You might find something inside that can break these. Oh, hey, can we go look? Hmm, well, I wonder if you'll be okay by yourselves. We'll be fine, right, Eve? I think so. See, Eve thinks we'll be fine. My, is that so? Yes, you are completely replaceable, Gary. Well, I suppose I'll let you look. Fine, but if you don't find anything, make sure you come straight back, okay? Then we'll reconsider our options. Yeah, got it. Okay, let's go. It feels like Mary always wanted to be separated from Gary anyway. <laughs> Eve, let's hurry up and go. Anywhere away from that freak. The two eight-year-olds will not be fine together in a monster gallery. They'll be fine. We've been dodging all the monsters. Eve was doing fine before she even met Gary. A stool. A sketch of some strange thing. Filled with yellow dra drawing paper. Filled with worn paintbrushes. Packed with various art supplies. Hmm? Is there something useful in there? There's a palette knife deep in the box. Maybe this can cut those spiky things. I mean, sure, let's pick up a knife. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> As if that would work. You're not good with jokes, are you, Eeb? But I think I'll hold on to... That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted, Mary. I just wanted you to pick up the knife. I understand. You know, just in case. It's filled with various used paints. Hmm... I don't really see anything useful. 
Should we just go back to Gary for now? Oh. Huh? That scared me. It's okay, Mary. Together we can get through anything. I believe in us. The power of Eve and Mary. Mary, as it might be. Shouldn't we go back to Gary? Nah, fuck that guy. Let's roll. Find Mary, be little wuss. Huh? The door. Why is that statue there? Wasn't it against the wall just now? Let's move it, Eve. Okay, stab it with the knife and I'll hold it down. Ready? Eve? <sighs> no good. It won't even budge. What do we do, Eve? We can't get out. We can't go over it. Can't go under it. Let's go through it. I guess we'll just have to go over this way, Eve. That was my plan, Mary. Ooh, hello there. I want you to have fun, Eve. Come to a fun world without any grown-ups. That sounds to me like the Goblin King. And frankly, if David Bowie is the one who kidnapped Eve. Yeah, let's just stay in this world. That should be fun. Fallen star. Oh, literally, it's a star, like an actress or actor. Damn, that's dark. <laughs> that's real dark. Clown. <laughs> its nose is sticking out. Look. It came off. There. Stack it back on. Oh, <laughs> she gave its nose back. Mary's adorable. A painting of what looks like a swing. It's a trapeze. Oop. We'll be together. You. Me and our friends. I'd gladly let Jareth kidnap me. Same. Same. Oh, God. What fresh hell is this now? I wonder what Gary's doing. We kind of left him behind. Oh, this is how I go to Gary instead. Man. They're sure taking their time. I wonder if something happened. Eeb! Mary, say something if you can hear me. No use. Ah, you knew I shouldn't have let them go alone. What now? Suppose I'll investigate that room again. Much as I hate having to go back in there. Ooh, blue rose. We have a lighter. After layers of years of use, it's learning low on oil. And a wristwatch. It's stopped ticking ever since coming to the gallery. Cool. As it wilts, so do you. Oh, so wilts was the word that... So wilts was the word that Gary, uh, that Eve didn't understand. That makes sense. That's a pretty sciencey word. Okay, now I trust it. Hey, creepy room. I'm gonna step on this one. A disturbing doll. Oh, I can't even step on it. That's even more creepy. Red eyes. No matter how I look at it, this is not cute. Oh, we're doing a Silent Hill kind of thing. Okay. Different people see different things comparing to their psyche. Nothing of note here. Oh, this bookshelf. Scuff marks, baby. Yeah. You wonder why he hated this room? They were just cute little bunny rabbits to Ebe and Mary. Why do they have the same? Well, maybe Mary saw something different as well. They just all see things with red eyes, I guess. Why oh, moves? Why didn't I notice that earlier? Oh well, I can go out this way. There is no exit. There is no reason. The floor has a strangely shaped indent in it. Let's not mess with those until we see what these kids are up to. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even tried talking to the painting. Okay, we need the one fourth from the right. It should knock down the painting. Let's try. Fourth from the right. Dug it. Yes. Descend, my creepy friend. <laughs> Is Gary getting cooler? Now that he's on his own? Yeah. I think that's part of the pain. It's like when he's with the little girls, he tries to act more intelligent. And it's like, nah, just, just be you, Gary. 
keep your tune yourself. Okay, back to the kiddos. Thank you for the... Oh. Eve, look, there's a bridge now. Yeah, we're giving each other side eye. Bombastic side eye. What are you doing, Eve? Come on, let's cross. I mean... Is it okay to cross? Guess so. He's saying Awa. Awa, Awa, Awa. Awa, Awa. Wait, that means he likes being stepped on. Nope, I'm out. Uh, here you go, buddy. Oh, that's what I was meant to do. Oh, I don't want to step on him again. It's creepy. I'll go this way. Ooh. Hello, giant eye in the sky. Hello, little green ones. Hello, off drops. Hey, Eve, can I ask you something? Is Gary your dad? No, he's a stranger who kidnapped me. Oh, really? Hmm. So you met here? Ah. Is your mom nice, Eve? Not when she's mad, Mary. When she's mad, she drinks and she hits me. <laughs> she gets mad at you, Eve? You want to see your parents again soon, right? I want to get out soon, too. Hey. So, Eve? If only two of us could get out of here, what would you do then? I'd leave with you in a heartbeat, Mary. <laughs> no, but why are you asking that? What the frick? Ah, oh, I don't know. Just cause. You know. Just wondering about what you might do if that happened. I was curious, that's all. Whatever, let's get going. Oh yeah, we, we've killed Gary in this run, haven't we? <laughs> the blank of blank and stars. The night sky is pretty. I can hardly believe there's so many white specks up there. When we get out, let's count how many there are together. Yeah, I, I don't trust this little girl. <laughs> oh God. Okay, Gare Bear, let's see if you can, we can get you back to us. Look at what I provide for you, Gary. Look at me. I am the adult now. I give you crescent moon. Specs? Yeah, specs. Like flecks of paint. Maybe that's it. Maybe she lives in this painting world. Maybe she's actually a painting. A disturbing doll. Hello there, Gary. I don't like being alone. So, take me with you. After all, you've taken other creepy girls into your care. Come on, Gary. Pick up the doll. Pick up the doll, Gary. You're going to regret that, Gary. Hey. Why aren't you taking me? You're going to regret that, Gary. Why are you ignoring me? Do you hate me? Oh, Gary's a dick. Hey, play with me. I know lots of fun things we can do. Oh God, I'm going to die. <laughs> I've got lots of friends too. I'll introduce you. Bum, bum. Be here forever. No, I'm good. Oh, it's like, hey, do you want to save? Because bad shit's about to happen. God, I have so many saves now. Bum, 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 bum. How long are you going to follow me? Enough of this. I'm busy here, and I'm not going to be your buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Kika the baby. These stupid dolls. Out of my way. Oh, it bled. Hmm. A disturbing doll. More disturbing now. It's no keyhole. This door must open some other way. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Oh, it opened because I killed the little baby doll? That's fucked up, man. Gary deserves to die. What's this now? Some kind of bo ball? 
found a mysterious ball yellow. Ah, it vanished. Did I not get the item? Items X. Oh, I didn't. Damn. You made him do it? I know, guys. I'm fucking around. <laughs> it's all your fault. My head came off. But yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> what is this giant thing? Collect the seven colored balls of paint. Then the path shall surely open. The dragon balls? Balls of paint? Could it mean that ball that vanished earlier? Here's to hoping you don't actually get him killed. I... With the whole, like, you could only take two people out, I, I think Gary's screwed. <laughs> Marvelous knight. Heart in custody. A heart, you say. First your heart, then your valuables. Fishing hook. Juggling. A voice comes from the painting. What year was I born? Me, E, Son, G. Wrong. Ow. Ow, dick. Didn't even find the answer yet. Give me a minute. Two of one flesh, a working combination. I'm afraid I only see one, though. I see three. But okay. Bum, 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 bum. There's no keyhole. The door must open some other way. Oh, dear God. Ugh. What kind of room is this? I think I ought to watch out for that strange gas coming out of the floor. Yeah, we'll be back. Um, did I go through this door? Okay, no. Um, okay, so. I need to find out the year the juggler was born. If only Niji Sanji worked, that would have been nice. Heavenly thread. Worry. Paddle tail. Skin and something. Fisherman. There's nobody there, though. So we have no fisherman, and he has no fishing hook. Two of one flesh, a working combination. Oh, so this and the other one are two in one flesh. The paintings connect together. How fun. Totally. Absolutely amazing. Most fun I've ever had. Okay. Lady without her umbrella. She has a beautiful hat, though. I'm hoping that's a hat. Because otherwise, she's just very excited to see me. That's a skirt. That's a skirt blowing in the wind. I'm an idiot. Okay, she's not excited to see me. There's a painting high on the wall. Hmm. I can't reach it. Square rock. This one's the only regular rock. Weird. A creature you've seen in a textbook. I know this one. I saw it in a book. It said it went extinct a long time ago. So, like, what's extinct anyway? That, my dear friend Mary, means when every single part of the species is dead and gone, will be forgotten in time. A snail. It's like a big lollipop. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. A hermit crab. That sharp end looks like it had hurt. Dried up something life forms. I wonder what used to be in this one then. Oh, it's got to be the two. This, this buddy. Do you want to go home? I don't think I can bring you home yet. I need to do some other things. I'll find a way though. I will get you. Maybe I need the fishing hook and the fisherman. Snail is a lollipop. I mean, let's car go. <laughs> What's this place? There's no color. There's a rainbow on the canvas. Loading palette and brush. It's almost like there's someone there. Who could it be? Okay. So we need to find the colors to get that. Guardian of the door. Writing appeared on the mirror. Answer with the name of the painting. If you are correct, I will open the door. What will it be? What if I get it wrong? What will it be? <laughs> Consult with Mary. It's just the names of paintings, right? Sounds fun. Let's do it. A shame. I'll save and then I'll do your silly game. Oop, doop, doop, doop. Okay. Gallery's so big though. Yeah, it do be pretty huge. Okay. Take the challenge. Well then. 
Which is the title of this painting? That was Heavenly Thread. Correct. Woohoo! Way to go, Eve! Now, for the next painting. Huh? There's more? Aww. What is the title of this painting? I don't remember this one. Um. Um. Abyss? A shame. Ouch, you took one of my pedals. Oof, that was wrong. I mean, it must be in the other area. Oh, there it is. Stuck in the abyss. Pew, 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 pew. Depths. Just remind myself real quick. Art in custody. Fishing hook. It's the one who wants to know the year it was created. Marvelous night. Marvelous night. Walkway. Oop. Take the challenge. This is depths. Correct. Yeah, he wins. As promised, I will open the door. Ooh, what are you? Some large rolled up paper. Unroll it and it's a painting. But what's it a painting of? Looks like a love heart. Some weird stuff. Should we take it? Yes. Why not? It may be useful. Collected works of Guertena, part one. It contains paintings by Guertena, organized by letter. Which page will you look at? Oh. The Lady in Red. It is said that Guertena based this on a lover he had at the time. But he has denied this claim. In truth, Guertena based it around the women who attempted to him for his inheritance. Oh. Not nice. G page. The something fish. Though grayscale, this curious piece makes clever use of shading and angles to give him the impression of color. The blank detail put into even the scales blank a wide variety of emotions in people. But yeah, those ladies, probably. We're gold diggers. Juggling, 6223. Wait, what year are we in right now? What the f- A work based on a juggler Guertena saw at the circus and with his grandchild. As it is extremely rare for Guertena to use real people as models, this piece is highly valuable. 62, 23. 62, 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, no, I didn't. I was trying to click through the other bits. You know what, Gary? You deserved that. That's what you get for rushing things. 62, 23. Correct! Found a ball of paint. Blue. Juggling. 6223. Does that do anything to this room? Nope. Oh, the painting looks similar to, like, the one with the heart on it, though. Poor man. He's just doing his best. Doing fine. A keyhole must be some other way. Oh, the balls of paint are going in there. Okay. What else can I do over here? Maybe I can use the painting here? You can't see the bottom. Nope. Looks like someone's there. There's a rainbow on the canvas. What can I do with my silly little painting? It's locked. Fisherman. There's nobody there, though. Oh, can I change it with this? And then that'll change the pattern on Gary's side. Mm, I can't reach it. Ah, oh, crap. What if I push something over? Square rock. This one's the only regular rock. Bum, bum, bum. No, okay, nothing does nothing. But this is the same in Gary's room. There's got to be something I can do with that. Oh, I didn't. I don't know if I fully explored this area, to be fair. A girl's demise. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. The girl went to an art gallery with her parents. But all of a sudden, the girl realized that she was lost. She searched through the dim gallery, but found neither her parents nor the exit. Scared, helpless, lonely, hungry, and thirsty, she fell and hurt herself. And at her body's limit, the last page has an illustration of collapsed girl. I mean, I did that once already. It wasn't fun. 
There's nothing else in this room. Why is this so weirdly shaped then? That feels wrong. I did collapse though. This is true. I can't really see anything else to do. Two of flesh, a working combination. Oh, hey, doesn't this weird painting we picked up kind of look like these snake ones? Maybe this was a failed attempt. Try replacing a painting. Huh? Replace these snake paintings? Which one do you want to stop out? The belly. Let's give him a heart in the middle of his tummy. Ah, looks like it swallowed something. Let's put this extra one on the side. Okay, let's see if that did anything for Gary. Love this game so much. I've seen it some long ago. I'm happy you're playing it now. Thank you. I'm enjoying it too so far. Two of one flesh, a working combination. Huh? Did this painting change? Is there something in the snake's belly? A pulsing object. Obtain the glass heart. Oh, it's beating. <laughs> oh, no. Surely it's artificial. Right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Here you go, buddy. Have a heart. Oh, then what's that thing I picked up? Oh, we also have the fishing hook now. What's up with this? It's coming out of the painting. Could it be, well, an actual hook? Don't touch it, buddy. <laughs> for once, I'm not going to hurt you for my own amusement. <laughs> Taking out books is forbidden. The uh, trading of existences, the fantastical, can be made reality. I'm not sure that I understand. There is no fear greater than the unknown. Have you met drop bears? Drop bears are pretty scary. Terror. Being alone is frightening. A pair of two can bring relief. A group of three. The rest has been torn off. I hope Eve and Mary are okay. Well, at least they have each other. Unlike me. I'm so lonely. Um... So the group of three thing makes me think something real bad's gonna happen later again. Yeah, the foreshadowing, exactly. Only two can leave this place, I'd imagine. <laughs> it's gonna be an issue. The essentials of color. Describes the uses of color. Hmm. This is pretty difficult stuff. Oh. I found my balls. This time they're green. Enlightenment. Okay, what are you, red thing? Why is there an umbrella here? Ah, oh, well, I guess I'll take it. It could serve as a weapon in a pinch. You got a red umbrella. Well, at least I didn't steal a book. I'm imagining I can give that to... Yeah, nothing's changed in here. So I'll give that to the fishing hook and see if it's useful for the girls. Could it be, well, an actual hook? I wonder if I hang this umbrella on it. Huh? It went right into the painting. It's just one inexplicable thing after another, isn't it? That, that doll had moved. Uh-oh. Hey, you want a treasure hunt? I want to play too. A doll head lies on the ground. Yep, Gary's got to get eated. Fisherman. Hey, Eve, look, he caught something. Oh, thank you for sharing, buddy. An umbrella placed by the fisherman. Ain't the red umbrella. Thanks, bud. Can I use it to hook this down or something? There's a painting high on the wall. Nope, we can't reach it. This one's the only regular rock reared. An umbrella kind of works as a fishing hook with the curled end. Can I drag these out escargot style? No, I don't think I can. That's a shame. Oh, she needs her umbrella, right. Lady without her umbrella. Eve, we have an umbrella. On the umbrella on the front of the painting. Hey. Oh. Huh? Huh? It started raining in the room. That's so weird. But it should help Gare Bear. Escargo style? Yeah, you get little hooks that you dig the snails out with. Wait, that didn't do shit. Um. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to try it. Sorry, Gary. That took so much health. 
You got a ball of paint, Violet. Um. Oh, shit. Does the green heal, maybe? <laughs> Do I commit to this? Shit, it's been a while since I saved. Yep, yep I'm aware. Um, can I use this? Okay, do nothing yet. Save and then heal. Got all kinds of save slots now. There we go. We're fully charged. Okay, maybe maybe the green heals. If not, this is going to be a problem. The green doesn't heal. It just doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we need to do something else. I won't give up. Okay. Got four out of seven balls of paint. That one's through there. I don't know how to cut these down yet. We need something to cut with. Done the juggling thing. Done the snake thing. Still can't open this. Doorknob is strangely cold. Oh, this is where I came from. Interesting. One, two, three, four. There must be three balls of paint left to find. Congrats, Gary. You can count to seven. So proud of you. Yeah, maybe the girls have something else to do. Bum, 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 bum. It's raining in here. Oh, the turtle! Hello, turtle friend. What should I give Gary? Looks like we can use it as a stepping stool. Rotation. Huh, this painting rotates. Let's try turning it. Oh, okay. That works too. Good turtle. Who's a good boy? God, turtle is our best boy. That's so much worse. Okay, back to the girls. <laughs> okay, so green and red in the middle means poison everywhere. I do this as green poison. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, now green's poison. There's only three to get through. I have no health. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, three I can get through one way. I can't get back though. There's no thing to teleport, but there is a rotation thing. Okay, yeah. Full health, and then I can get through this. Place Blue Rose. Sorry, Gary. You're going to have to go through some poison. It's for the greater good, I assure you. Yeah, I know. If I use this to block the poison... Nope. Rotate! What the... It seems this painting actually rotates. There we go. Such a satisfying sound. Good Ashua woman is back. God, I hope not. I don't want to drown. <laughs> I don't want to have turtles come spilling out of my mouth. God. Spirit Hunter NG is such a fun but terrifying game. I wonder if that put down all of the... Yeah, it did. Found a ball of paint. Pink. Collected works of Gretina, part two. It contains paintings by Gretina, organized by letter. I wonder if there's anything useful. Yes. Serpentine Spirit, 6248. Beginning with this piece, Gretina shifted to greater focus on abstract art. But at the time, cubism was more in vogue, leaving Gretina's various abstract works largely ignored. That wasn't the name it had when we were in the actual art gallery. Each page. The Hanged Man, 6219. Gretina apparently painted this as a page filler while doing binding work for a magazine magazine. With illustrations each issue, it became renowned and was later sold for a limited time as a tarot card. Presently, it's next to impossible for one to come upon this tarot card. It must be worth a lot of money then. M. Mary. The last work of Gretena's life. While the girl appears almost lifelike, she is of course not based on a real person either. <gasps> She's a painting. God damn it, she's a freaking painting. There's a familiar painting on the page next to the description. Wh why? It can't be. 
That's... Mary? That's literally what it said, buddy. She doesn't exist? What does this mean? But then, who or what is with Ebe? I heard it. I heard it. Mary's secret. Strained ear. Strained ear and enlightenment, huh? Well, might as well save. That's a bad sign. <laughs> Just gonna do a brand new save for that too. We're doing so many today. Oh, little head, you followed me. Treasure hunting is fun. I found treasure too. Something's jutting out from the head. Check the doll. Suppose I'll take a closer look. Ugh, though I don't even want to touch it. You ripped... You're a monster, Gary. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Found a ball of paint. Red. Ah. Okay. The door is unlocked. Don't go in yet. <laughs> do we have more water? Oh, we do have more. We can actually heal ourselves again. Damn. Um, I'm just gonna... Yeah, yeah. Get on in there. Hey, ladies. Having a good day? I know I am. An empty frame. Are they going to put me in the painting? Found a ball of paint white. Run, Gary, run. That's seven of them. Now I can summon the almighty Shenron. Ah, fuck. <laughs> huh. No way. It won't open. Why? Let's have another treasure hunt. Who, who, who has the key? What's that? Two dings. Uh, what? What now? This doesn't look good. I need to find the key and get out. Welcome to our home. Oh, God. There's nothing inside. Ow. You cut your finger on something. There are bugs wriggling inside. Yes, the key. Bye. Hey, don't have to deal with that anymore. <laughs> he noped so hard out of there. <laughs> oh. Sorry, there was a little spider on my desk. I had to flick off. I have had enough of that room. Why did I have to go through that? <laughs> This is no time to be whining. He might be in a terrifying situation of her own. We've got to regroup soon. Okay, we won that. That was easy. Giant pallet seems satisfied. <laughs> Yo, we filled it with so many balls, now it's smiling. That's right. I did gather all the balls of paint. Honestly, there was so much going on that it completely slipped my mind. The seven colors are assembled. Thus settles the matter. Glad that's settled. Stairs. I've come this far, but now I'm wondering if I should keep going. I'm not sure what going back would do. Okay, it's telling me to maybe. Oh wait, I can't switch to the kids. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> Did I miss my chance to do some? Oh, this is fine. Onward we wait. What if I go back in the creepy room? Never setting foot in that room again. Okay, yeah, bear. Let's go then. Yes, I better go. Nothing will come of just loitering around. Please be safe. Hey, Mary. Why aren't you coming with me? Mary. What are you looking at? Dada. I gotta hurry. Mary? 
Did you just open a hatch? Um. Gotta move it now. Gotta move it now. M Mary? Ebe. Ebe, help me out here. We gotta move this quick. There's sure to be an exit if we go down. Ugh. Why are you getting in my way? Aspiration. A headless statue. Gotta move it now. Gotta move it now. Mm. Perhaps I need something. Let's get in something. Tattletail. <laughs> it's locked. The painting? Leftover snake painting. No, I guess not. Turtle probably won't help. Mr. Mirror Man, can you help? Guardian of the door? Hmm. I, I really don't know how to help you, Mary. You're, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> I'm out of options. All right, we painted the colors. There's something on the table. Obtain the brown key. Illusion. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Floating painter and paintbrush. There's a rainbow on the canvas. Bum, 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 bum. What did I get a key for? Ah. Bye, Mary. Uh-oh. Eeb. Why won't you help me? We can go downstairs if we move that statue. Right? Why are you running? Eeb! Oh, what are you doing, Mary? Shut up. You should have been good and waited there. Mary, I knew it. You're... Let go! Oh, you broke her. Yo, this theme song really good now, though. Eve, are you all right? Sorry I took so long. Oh, the hug. Wow, Eve. Sorry, must have been scary, but it's okay now. You might not believe me, but Mary, she isn't human. She's one of Gretana's works. Just like those women in paintings who chase after us. I didn't notice with how normally she acted, but it's dangerous to stay here with her. If I'd just been a moment too late there, you might feel sorry for her. But we need to get away from here now. But she friend. It's Rose. It looks real, but it's a fake. Mary isn't moving a muscle. Get up, Mary. Up, Mary. I don't feel right abandoning Mary. I don't know if she is fake. That book could have been put there as a ruse. Could have been a lie. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's see what we get. Gary, do the thing. Looks like we can go down if we move this. Step back, Eeb. Ooh. Good chance she had a knife. She is barely a knife. It's one of those knives that spread things. It's not bad. Ew. Just how many of these have I pushed today? Oh, well. Let's go. Whee. Think you scare me shooting stars? Ooh. I got real pretty all of a sudden. Odd, but there's treasure. Easy, but there's nothing. I love treasure. Treasure? Yeah, you you right, Kaido. Treasure. Something here. Obtain the diamond. A diamond? Is this the treasure it was talking about? Uh, excuse me, but could I take a look at that? Ah! The diamond shattered. Uh, well, um, I knew it couldn't be real, of course. Really, I did. <laughs> of course you did. Ooh. 
out to the sketchbook. Well now, this is a stark change of mood. A reason not to remain cautious, though. Let's go, Eeb. A tulip. A three-lip. A four-lip. There's something posted up here. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Yeah, I know at the top right. Question marks everywhere else. Little horses. <gasps> Pink horse! Why that color? <laughs> well, this is going to be an interesting world we're dealing with. Is this a map of the area? Oh, it even tells us where we are. We seem to be in the bottom right currently. Let's take a closer look. Any points of interest, shall we? Yeah, I want to go to the well, this thing. Lake with bird. Cute little house, a flower garden area. Sketchbook exit needs toy key. Sketchbook exit, you say? And it seems we need a toy key. Regular house. Gallery. Okay, I'm gonna try the lake first still. I like the sound of lake. Pink horse? Yep. It all comes back to layers of fear all over again. I'm not sure if I liked that shattered diamond. We'll save that too. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're dead. Tulip bud. Why hasn't this one bloomed, I wonder? Maybe it needs some water. Hey, duck. A pond. The rose stem in water. Look at the bird. Look at the bird. A long necked duck swims around. If I had to say, it looks more like a goose to me. I was going to say, it's probably a goose or a swan, my sweet summer child. Um, stare into the water. Eeb, make sure you don't fall in while you're spacing out. Yeah, well, what if I just dive right in, huh? The water feels lukewarm. No, I don't want to dip my rose stem in there. My rose stem's doing fine. What do you suppose that is? It's quite clearly a squirrel, Gary. Come on. A squirrel? Oh, then is it holding an acorn? Now that you say that, I can see that it could be a squirrel. Yeah, he's playing with his nuts. Leave him alone. Don't look at him. Something sort of like a mushroom. I have to say, I've never seen a mushroom that gaudy before. A mushroom. A mushroom. This mushroom looks quite poisonous. It's the kind you see in storybooks, though. Really? It looks like a power-up mushroom from Mario. The path's been scribbled out with black. Hmm. I don't get the logistics of it, but it seems we can't walk on the black areas here. There's no keyhole. It must open some other way. <gasps> pudding! Give me the pudding. Hey, Gary, it's your best friend. They're in the window. And the walls. And the sweat dripping down. All the paint-colored balls. There's writing on the door. There's a note on the yellow building. Read it to open this door. Such a kind message. So kind that it feels suspicious. Yep, don't trust this at all. The toy key always goes back in the toy box. There was a sound from over there. Oh, hey, hanged man. How are you doing? Eep, what is it? Did something happen? Harry doesn't seem to see it. It's not good. Why do only I see these? Mary and Eve and Gear Bear. We're not going to comment on any of these, really? Horses. 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 Mary was playing with the creepy little doll. The creepy little doll had the yellow flower, whereas we was holding our own flowers. That's interesting. I guess because Mary's technically the same as everything here. It doesn't really matter whether it's here or them holding it. Butterfly Park. Oh, so cute. You guys won't hurt me, right? A butterfly. A butterfly. A butterfly. It's a lot of butterflies. Have fun, guys. Okay. There's a window, but you can't see outside. Some sort of red fruit. 
When you need to wake up, it's good to get some sunlight. A bucket you could carry around. Chain the bucket. Mary! Yay, I missed you! Oh, what are you holding there, Mary? Beep. Gary. Where are you? She looks so sad. She's just trying to get rid of Gary because Gary's the bad guy. Don't kill me. What was that? She's after us. I mean, she was just looking around. I don't necessarily think that means she's evil, Gare Bear. Okay, let's go get some water and water that tulip. Turn it into a three lip. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> the water feels lukewarm. Fantastic. Um, fill bucket with water. Fill the bucket with water. Here you go, buddy. Eve, are you thinking of watering this tulip? It might make it bloom. I see. Well, it's worth a shot. Hey, the tulip bloomed. Hmm? There's something inside it. Obtain the little mirror. Okay, now I've got a mirror. I want another bucket of water. I dropped my bucket. Damn it. <laughs> Gary did push her down. That's what I'm saying. She didn't necessarily do anything bad. No keyhole. There must be some other way. I think I need to get the sunshine over here. I have a mirror. What do I do with the mirror? Show the butterflies the mirror? Hey guys. A butterfly. Butterfly. A butterfly. Okay. Perhaps the mirror. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can use the mirror to reflect the sunshine. You wanted to kill Gary before? So have I a few times. Honestly, that doesn't mean you're not trustworthy. That just means some shit's going down. Um, path has been scribbled out. Yeah, okay. I should be able to reflect the sun. This is sunlight, right? Yes! Talk to Gary. Say, Eve, have you heard of macarons? They're these sweet she sweets. They're these sweets shaped like hamburgers. Just the other day, I found this cafe with macarons. It was so tasty. They were really, really good. The cream wasn't too sweet either. Well, if we manage to get out of here, could we go there together? Uh, actually, scratch that. We will go there together. And we will get out of here. Promise. Pudding. A giant pudding on a plate. Have you ever wanted to take bite of a giant serving of a food like that? Oh, yes. I wish to swim in a swimming pool filled with jello. Open my mouth and just absorb it into me. I knew it. Who wouldn't, right? When I was about your age, I had the, such a hankering for this giant cake from a storybook. I wanted to get on top and eat the cake at my feet and dive into a sea of juice and swim around. <laughs> you know what? I respect Gary a little bit more now. Face the little mirror towards the door. Wake up, buddy. I see. You use the mirror to reflect the sunlight. Not too shabby. Why is it ticking? Can you solve this puzzle? Make one wrong move and you'll be punished. Well, I know what I'm doing first then. Okay. Horse to mushroom to cherry shit. Okay. The horses are at the top middle. Ow. <laughs> okay. The horses are not at the top middle. I thought they were. No, it's tulips. Crap. Top right? No. Well, the horses the horses are at the bottom. I'm a dumbass. It's a straight up dumbass. Okay, the horses are at the bottom. The mushrooms are at the top right. No, middle right, right? No. Where the frick were the mushrooms? Okay, top right. I was right. Oh my god, I'm so bad at memorizing. Okay, bottom, middle, top right. Cherries? I didn't even see cherries. Out I go. These are kind of trees with various fruits. I'm going to say left middle. I'm going to say these are cherries. Sweet. Sunshine's here. 
Fish. Oh, is middle right? Stars. Stars I don't remember. Right next to me. Stars. <laughs> okay. Stars. Ah, uh, footprints. I don't remember footprints, but I remember for a fact butterflies were bottom left. Ba -da -da -dum, ba -dum. Obtained the pink crayon. Now I can fill in the blank spaces, I guess. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we've achieved. We did good. The path's been scribbled out. Use the crayon. Scribbling all over this is surprisingly tiring. No, you're just weak, Gear Bear. Now that the ground is colored, it seems you can pass. If there's a toy box anywhere, this is the only place left for it. It's also going to be where Mary is, huh? So this is the toy box? It's rather big, but at any rate... Uh, give me one second. I need to just stretch something out. Okay, way better. It was like, I'm a child, Gary. I'm a coloring master. <laughs> yeah, it was like, this is my element, Gary. This is the kind of art I always make. I'm brilliant like this. But at any rate, it said the toy key was in here. Um, I can't see the bottom. Is there really a key in there, I wonder? Wanna see? <laughs> See, Mary's so nice to us. She's so helpful. I don't know why we're treating her mean. Eve? 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 Please, open your eyes. You hear Gary's voice. Oh, we're in a different part of the colored in area. Eve? Thank goodness. Are you all right? Does anything hurt? Staying still, dang it. There we go. Don't have your red rose. You must have let it slip out of your hand when you fell. But it should be somewhere in this room. Let's find it quickly. Okay, let's rip open this doll. The disturbing doll is smiling. Of course they are. Oh, you get lots of saves. Um, um. A headless statue. A mannequin head. Maybe I could combine those. There's the clock thing. Hello, smiling blue doll. There seems to be stairs behind it. Okay, we need to defeat those somehow. The disturbing doll is smiling. All smiling. They're all smiling. There's the clown. Oh, there's a key. Obtain the toy key. Oh, what's this? A present for me? Yay, it's so pretty. Can I have it? Oh, thank you. Hey, that's my rose. That. It can't be. Hey, Mary. I'll trade you that rose for this key. Mary. Oh, even Gary. Did you find what you were looking for? But anyway, looky, looky. I just got given this. Isn't it pretty? Mary, that... That rose. Huh? Oh, you mean this is Eve's? I thought I'd seen it before. Mary, please. Give that back to Eve. Huh? What should I do? Eve, you want this back? I mean, yes, I very much do want that back, Mary. Hmm. Well then, want to trade Gary's rose? Gary's rose is blue, right? I like red and all, but I like blue even more. See, that's why this doll is blue too. Isn't she cute? 
cute things really do just make you want to pet them, don't they? So, want to trade? I mean, uh, sure. Gah. Please don't give me that look, Yeb. Don't worry. I'll be fine. You just leave it to me. Oh, he's self-sacrificing. Gary, no. That's not fair. I wanted to be evil little child. I don't want you to self-sacrifice. Fine. It's a deal. Please, hand over Eve's rose in exchange for mine. Really? You sure? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Such a pretty color. <laughs> Yo, okay. Gary just became a fucking hero. Look at him kneeling to give me the rose. Yo, you legend. Be careful with it. Thank you. Hmm? Ah, uh, don't mention it. Now I finally get to repay the favor, right? As for my rose, well, we'll just catch Mary and get it back. Let's do our best. I know we're almost there. Oh, everything got way darker. <laughs> what? The air feels cold. Oh, she really does like blue and now it's red. Well, what's with these things? Eve, let's hurry towards the exit. <laughs> I mean, that was easier. <laughs> Loves me. Loves me not. Oh, she's plucking away his petals. Loves me. Eep. Wait. Hey, Eep. Um... Sorry, but could you go on ahead? Gary. Oh. I am. Er. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. Why is it? Oh, there we go. I don't want to lie to you. But I don't want to tell you the truth either. As soon as I'm ready to go again, I'll come running. Go on ahead. Okay, bye. No, come on, buddy. Come on. Go on ahead. If I push you. <gasps> but Gary. Air Bear. Onichan, I'll hug you again. I'll eat the candy. I never ate the candy. Do you want the candy? I can't give him the candy. The candy, Gary. Gary. I'll never forget you. Loves me not. You can get Gary. Oh, he gone. Quit it! Loves me, loves me not. Loves me, loves me not. Loves me, loves me not. Oh, they're all gone. Loves me! Oh, Gary's dead. <laughs> Yay! And now I can. No. Only the stalk remains. There are blue petals on the ground. Oh, shit, man. I think we killed Gary. Thorns block the way. Get, 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 bear. Oh, he actually wilted. Gary is sleeping. He's holding a lighter. You're holding too many things. 
Eat the candy. I trust the candy now, Gary. You ate the candy you got from Gary. Borrowed the lighter. Gary's just sleeping, guys. He's just sleeping. Use the lighter on the thorns. Eve, what are you doing? Why are you here? And how did you get into this room? It was from the power of Gary, Mary. You fucked up by killing him. It allowed me to steal his lighter, you fool. You can't... You're not supposed to be here. Please. Leave now. Now! Now? Now? Now! Leave! Nope, 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 nope. Mary, remove the painting, rip the painting. Burn the painting! Let's remove the painting. It won't come off. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Um. I. Oh, oh, burn the painting. Eve, don't. Stop it! I really didn't want to. I wanted to just bring it down and help you, but okay. Uh, no! Man, that's dark. I have the knife now. A pallet knife lies among what looks like a pile of burnt paper ashes. Scattered accessories. A pile of various books. There are photos of cakes and such. Scattered crayons. There's a fallen mannequin head behind them. There are scenic photos of some place you don't know. Is this where Mary lived? Writing done in crayon. Everyone likes inviting visitors to live with us, but I want to just leave this place myself and just live outside. But for me to get out, it seems like I'd have to switch places with someone from outside. Won't somebody come soon? Won't somebody come soon? Oh, yeah, she wanted to get out into the real world. Now I'm alone! This sucks. Pictures drawn with crayon. Cards of some sort. A blue doll. Mary. Okay. Only the stork remains. I mean, where do I go from here? <laughs> Let's go see Gabe. Hey Gary, I brought your lighter back. You good, buddy? Gary's sleeping. Okay, maybe he's not too good. All right, we got the key. We can go out of the toy box. We should have trusted Gary. Yeah, we should have. <gasps> if only we could bring the stork over here, man. I believe it doesn't let us pick up the stork. Um, um, um. Black and red. I like this. Oh, we're back in the gallery. Maybe if I go back into the abyss painting, it'll let me out. Bank of the deep. Hmm. Maybe I go up to the top stairs painting. It's so much to go through for a nine-year-old. Yeah. He saved our life. And we left him there. To die. In fact, we even stole his lighter. Blank world. There's no coming back after this. All your time here will be lost. Will you still jump in? The frame disappeared. Goodbye, Gary. Eep. Gary lived? Eve! Ew, I've been looking all over for you. How could you just run off on your own? I said I'd catch up, didn't I? Come now. I was so worried. Anyway, Eve, 
I think I found some kind of exit. It's not here. It's over there. Let's go check it out, right? This is fake. This is so not him. Screw it. Bad ending. Let's go. I knew you were a good kid, Eve. All right. Let's go. That's just the end right there. <laughs> just like, hey. Bad ending. Eve all alone. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Bad ending for Gary. Bad ending for everyone. It is what it is. Okay, let's go see a different ending. Okay. I think... Yeah, I got the toy key. So this is... Did I kill Mary yet? Yeah, I killed Mary. Oh, and her knife is missing. Fantastic. Yeah, let's try diving into the painting. See if that at least gets me home. I mean, that's still technically a bad ending, but at least I live. <laughs> Maybe we're going to find out. Weep. Okay, back through the painting we go. The frame disappeared. Jump into the painting. Eeb. Eeb. Phew. I'm looking all over for you. How could you just run off on your own? I said I'd catch up, didn't I? Come now, I was so worried. Anyway, Eeb, I think I found some sort of exit. It's not here, it's over there. Let's go check it out, alright? No way. Huh? But why not? We might finally be able to get out of here. We can go back through this painting? How could you know for sure? Come on, let's go. Come with me. Eeb? Eeb! Welcome back to the real world, kiddo. Wasn't much of a rest area after all. This was hell. I can't remember what you were doing. I'm home, baby. Your daughter doesn't bother me at all. I just want to find my parents and go home. Fuck this art exhibit. Fuck it all. Weep. We don't remember Gary? Why would we? Who would possibly remember Gary? Oh, Eeb. Your father just left a moment ago to look for you. Seems you just missed each other. Did he go up to the painting? I swear to God, Dad. Ooh, you have purple hair. Selfless God. Hasn't that changed? Am I imagining that? Is that a Gary painting? Where? I don't see a Gary painting. A hanged man painting? Oh, the one he was staring at? Where is it? Second floor. <sighs> oh, yep, that's definitely Gary. Forgotten portrait. It depicts a man sleeping. And he's so forgotten. Now I'm staring at the portrait. It's no longer him staring at it. I wonder if that means he forgot someone as well. Maybe he was staring at something before. Hmm. Oh, Eve. Well, there you are. I was looking all over for you. How about we look around together? We came as a family after all. Your mother said as much herself. She's waiting for us downstairs. Hmm. Why does this guy have such a terrible coat? Anyway, coming, Dad. God, his hair's silly, too. Damn. Trapped in the portrait world forever. This count as a bad end or a neutral end? Just end. Forgotten portrait. Damn, man. 
Oh, still not as bad as being brought back into the mirror world too. The roasting. It had to happen. Gotta twist the knife on the way out. Unlocked the true Guertena expedition. Unlocked a hidden dungeon. Unlocked bonus endings. You could access these on a second playthrough. How do I start a second playthrough, you may ask? Select new game to start a second playthrough. Save files will be marked with a diamond. Damn. The true exhibit. Hidden dungeon? I know, right? They added all kinds of things to this. Oh. Oh, this is for all the paintings that I could have seen. Damn, I missed a lot of them. Yeah, I missed a lot. <laughs> I interacted with nowhere near enough stuff. Oh, well. Hold on there, Lady Eve. You can't come behind here, all right? Okay. What's the true Gretena exhibit? Here you may pursue, peruse all the Gretena artwork you've seen on your adventure. There's no fear of being attacked, of course, so enjoy it at your leisure. There's some art missing. Pieces with titles will only go on display here if their official title is known. Oh, okay. That's why some of the names were different. Specifically, Lady Eve herself must see the work directly as well as understand its official title. If a title contains words you don't understand, you may want to read it with someone who can explain. Is there anyone here? There would appear more guests will visit here based on the conclusions you've arrived at. What do you say for aiming for a different conclusion for your next outing? I can't open some doors. You may not enter doors for areas you've not been to. Here, if you start a new adventure, there are secret stairs to find in the area with black walls. If you descend those stairs, well, I encourage you to see with your own eyes. Okay, I wonder if Mary's in here somewhere. Apparently, you can view the works here using only the directional keys. You wonder what that means. I could just run into them. We find all the artwork then. Who knows? A secret, secret ending? What's up, Dad? How are you liking your first art gallery, Eve? They have a peculiar mood to them, but I think it's pretty nice. If you like this one, maybe we'll go to another ex exhibition sometime. So I've got my dad, but not my mother. And Gary's certainly not here. Weep. Oh, there's so many doors. Red area. Oh, it's to help you find things. Oh, yeah. Man. They really throw everything into this game. You inspect the liar's paintings. Oh, sick. Man. They really worked hard on giving you a nice conclusive feeling to this ending. They wanted to show off all the work they put into it. Fun fact, in the OG version, Dad had no visuals, just his sprite. Can't go in here yet. So there's a room we haven't even opened. There's an area we haven't even slightly been to. Three of them, in fact. God damn. And yeah, all we have is Dad. We don't have Gary. We don't have Mary. We don't have Mommy. Ready to leave? Sure. Interesting. Once you complete this area, it's amazing. I really love the wonder in the exhibit. Cute. Mom went out to buy milk. Yeah. From New Game Plus, I'd imagine... Those secret stairs and stuff that lead you to different areas. That's got to be it. Part two. Nah. That was a pretty good game. Wait. I wonder. Nah, I don't think I could probably. Uh, I wish I could have hung, handed over my rose instead. No good ending. No good ending. Just two sad endings. Honestly, second one was a good enough ending. Eve doesn't remember Gary, so there's nothing sad about it. There's nothing sad about it at all. Just forgotten, gone, and dead. Anyway, let's just chat now. Think you'd watch the other endings offline? Yeah, it's probably what I'll do. I just don't know how much I have to go back, because I'm pretty sure we locked ourselves into a bad ending. Thanks to all the backseaters at the time when we first kicked that giant statue head. So I'd have to go all the way back to like two hours ago, essentially, and start from there and like stop Gary from hurting the exhibits. So, yeah, that's a lot of work to start again from. 
Still kind of sad. We remember Gary. We remember Gary, but Eve doesn't. In Eve's mind, she just was wandering around, got a little lost, went back down to her parents. Two of the endings are super quick to get. Well, as far as I know, you have to go all the way back from what everybody was saying, so I'm just going to skip it for now. That was long enough for a stream anyway. It was fun. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm going to grab my comment grabber. I'm going to go through super chats. But yeah, this was a cute game. Do -do. Um, Twitch. It. A lot of fun. Thanks, you fool. No problem. That was fun. <laughs> the characters were pretty good. Gary definitely did grow on me a little bit. He was definitely like a tuny kind of nerd character who was trying to play himself up a bit. And I liked that about him. He became a good like knight person by the end the way he like got her a rose back and then just knelt down and gave it to her that was so good i wonder what kind of hidden dungeon they have that's what i'm interested in as well the whole like the hidden dungeon thing like how do you make things more difficult in this kind of game where it's mostly just running around and avoiding being attacked interesting his theme song his theme song was so good i liked how it worked both with like the sadness of the story and with those like heroic moments because it had like that nice guitar to it that was powerful and strong but then it also like once you got to the point where you were leaving him behind it was super sad or eve can remember gary by some means with the candy oh shit maybe because i picked up the lighter yeah, there's probably a better ending. Like, yeah, you definitely had the option to chase Mary down instead of going up first. So yeah, it's quite possible I could have like gone down, talked to Mary, and gotten the knife from her to slice open the vines rather than using the fire. And then maybe at the end, when I was in the real world, I could have eaten the candy and been like, it reminds you of something. Something. Like Mary's theme song too. Honestly, all of the music was actually really good. Mary's music was a bit creepier. <laughs> and the main theme, like at the beginning, is really nice. The like music box sound. Uh, thank you for the stream. No problem. You planning on doing another playthrough? Nah. Uh, we are going to play a different RPG maker horror game next week. In fact, no, I've already decided what it's going to be. I was going to put up a poll, but I'm going to play another short one. Another one that's like two hours long. Gary's guitar was cool. Hell yeah. I'm excited while you play Sally Face too. Yeah, that'll be soon as well. Not next week, but soon. Anyway, Gary's guitar is super nostalgic. Yeah, it was a nice sound. Use this fun back. In Japanese, Gary uses Atashi for his pronouns. I don't remember what Atashi means. Like, what kind of relevance does that have? I know Watashi is like the more like formal version. And Ore is like super masculine. And Boku is more for like little boys. I don't remember Atashi. Oh, it's the feminine eye. Okay. Cool character then. Um, will you show the schedule today since tomorrow's a stream on Billy Billy? Um, no. <laughs> I'll just post it tomorrow. Um, yeah, if I show it now, it, it won't do well. I'll show it tomorrow like when I'm about to start stream on Billy Billy and I'll show it on Billy Billy. I mean, the thing about Billy Billy is everybody can watch Billy Billy. It's not like people can't watch it. You can't necessarily subscribe or do the membership thing. But everyone can just view stuff on Billy Billy, so it should be fine. He's male wife coded. <laughs> He's more pathetic man coded to me, but he is adorable. Uh, he was truly a baby girl. He do. It's kind of laugh when you have a normal voice for Eve, but different for Mary. <laughs> I started giving Eve a little girl voice, but then it just clicked that it was funny to me when Gary was constantly like worrying about her and being like, it's okay, Eve, I'll protect you. And me just being there like, don't worry, Gary, I'm fine. I have experienced this many times before. I've outrun more painting monsters than you could possibly imagine. Hell, we just played Layers of Fear. That's all about painting monsters. Gary the OG baby. <laughs> oh, man. David Kuhn voice. Yeah. A little bit of David Kuhn, a little bit of Chuni. Uh, I think that was a good, pretty good voice for him. <laughs> Gary's doing his best to be a bomb. Yeah. He did, it. he did his best to protect the baby. It it did not work, but <laughs> he did his best. I mean, I guess in the end it did work. He did save her. He got her out of there. So good for him. He became the hero he always wanted to be in the end. And even though he won't be remembered for it, at least he's a beautiful piece of art that everybody else will respect. He did try his best. He did. Tsukishiro, Atsufu-chan. It's my birthday today and I had fun watching your stream. 
It's a good comfy way to end it. I buy you. Rest well, old sheep. Thank you for donating the food funds. Happy birthday. What an adorable avatar. I haven't seen this Nika Nika Ni kind of food charm before. But thank you so much for donating the food funds. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. Please rest well for the rest of the evening. Take it easy and have a wonderful time. Noween, Atsu on the game for you. Game is one of my favorite games. Thank you so much for playing it. No problem. I had a decent amount of fun with it. Um. Uh, there were some things that kind of disturbed it in the middle, which was unfortunate. I was liking going into it blind and not knowing what was going on and having fun with that. Um, yeah, exploring the different paintings, analyzing them in the beginning was all fun. Some of the monsters were pretty good. The puzzles were cute. But yeah, it was a fun time. It was a fun time. Thank you for donating the few funds. Momiji, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Oh, you shared a rose. Um, super, uh, rose super sticker. Thank you so much. It doesn't show up on the comment grabber, but thank you so much. And I hope you have a lovely evening. No scares? No, we got one scare. We were on 25 yesterday. I put up one scare for that was one time a monster freaked me out when it came running around a corner. <laughs> Paradox Mint. Gary is an older man, a chudy, a baby girl, and adopts children. The wonder confidants love him. Is he really supposed to be an older man? He always looked like 17 to me. That's interesting. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. I wonder what age he's actually supposed to be. Let me see. It was Mary who scared you? Perfect. Mary got me good as it should be. Gary Eb. Gary Yuddy. Age in the 20s. How dare you? <laughs> the literal, like, the, the character guide says he's in the 20s. He is not an old man. <laughs> How dare. Oh, God. I still would have thought him to be, like, 17, but, yeah. In his 20s makes sense. Am I too late? Yeah, sorry. We've already finished the game through. I said older. Oh. An older man. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I guess I see what you're saying. Just older than Ebe. Fair enough. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Fair enough if confidants love him. That's fine. <laughs> He's like college art student. Yeah, he seemed really interested in some of the paint. I really do wonder if that was like a... God, I forget which painting he was actually looking at. Was it the hanged man? Because he was really attached to one of the paintings. He's Fuchan coded. Oh, hell yeah, actually. Actually... <laughs> Except I wouldn't be so tuny like when I was defending a child. I'd just be like, oh, there's a child here. Do you want to come with me? And then they'd be terrified of my cyborg arms and run away. And I'd be like, ah, well, they're going to die. And then I'd get out by myself with my blue rose. Anyway, <laughs> which is about sacrifice and knowledge. Yeah, he was really good on the sacrifice, at least. It made for a really good sad ending man i wish they just kept gary's theme playing the whole way through as you walked away out of the thing i feel like that would have made it more painful evolia thank you for playing my favorite rpg maker game before work have a gay good day fuchan and confidants thank you so much and i hope you have a wonderful day too thank you so much for joining us please rest well after this and take it easy you're the one who made him chuny i am not the one who made him chuny he was ch do you see the man's jacket He's all like, no, it's style that it's torn up like this. For sure, it's kind of old and tattered as well. But it's my style. It's what I want. He dyes his hair purple. Come on, man. This theme is somewhat sad. Yeah, as it should be. You gave him David Kuhn voice. Yeah, I started him off with like a... Yeah, come at me. This is my tuny voice. And then as he started to be kind of pathetic and adorable, I just like slowly made him more and more. Yeah, I'm David Kun rather than Chuni. Yeah, I'm doing my best here, Ebe. Um, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Give him like 10 voices, Chuni, David Kun, and Nerd. Yeah, it kind of depended on how he was acting at the time. Like, especially when he got scared and it was just like, Full on Nerd, please, what's going on? And then he'd go back to like Chuni when he calmed down a bit. Um, yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Evolia. Have a lovely day at work. Rest well. Have a good time. Try Princess. Thank you for donating the food funds. Hope you have a lovely evening. Is it again? No message at all? Yeah, no message at all. 
But thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I hope you have a wonderful time. Nia, Achifu Chang. There will always be a blonde out to kill you in every game somehow. Honestly, normally it's like a little girl with black hair. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them of going with like a blonde haired, blue eyed child just to murder me. It's not generic. I'll give them that. <laughs> what other games do we have a blonde child trying to murder us? I can't think of many right now. Um, Certainly not Alien Isolation. Hmm. Sir, I'm displaying you on my huge television with that voice on. That's your fault. <laughs> it's become well known that you should only ever watch Food Chan with headphones on, so that's on you. <laughs> Nelly? Nelly didn't try to kill me. She tried to do much worse to me. Um, Much worse to Mel, at least. So the white-haired girl, she, there was some physical torture. But to Mel, oh god, that was a fate worse than death. Um... But yeah, no, she didn't try to kill us. It, it, it was fine. Some would have liked. I mean, if they weren't related, <laughs> they might have liked the bedroom scene. <laughs> Chicky Sleepy, thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you for the little red heart. Rest well. Have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us. Not the papapa chat. How dare. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, ba -ba -ba -ba. I feel like, no. Okay, there's only one more super chat. And then the ones from the beginning, because you guys were way too kind at the beginning. I thought Eve is a rather family-friendly game. Oh, it definitely is. I mean, <laughs> I think the funniest part of that, like, whole the whole thing of, like, Eve not knowing certain words, and then her accidentally picking up a pornographic book, and just it being like, I slowly blank my blank inside the blank. And just Gary being like, D -d don't, don't read that book. That when, when you get older, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Simu, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Achifu Chan, did you enjoy today's match? Actually, Eve had an exhibition in Japan. I wanted to go, but I remembered I couldn't buy a ticket. Oh, that's a shame. It had nice artwork, so yeah. I wonder if they just recreated the exhibition. That would be sick. But thank you for donating the food funds. Ah, I'm sorry you couldn't go to the exhibition. It's cool that they had one though. I hope they do one for like Father Morgana someday with like the art book and everything. Final Fantasy 16, the half step brother. I wouldn't say he really tried to kill us. That was more Ultima. <laughs> I'm just saying, there hasn't been like a surplus of blonde children trying to kill me. Trying to creep me out? Yes. Very much so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice, baby. <laughs> Just reversing it and it turns Eve code in. Nice. Achifu, I enjoyed the stream. Thank you. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Cute name transition. Is that a comfy Shona? I don't remember that avatar either. Oh, adorable. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, BB. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being here. Um, Otter. Today's my birthday and Fuchan played one of my favorite games. Thank you for the perfect birthday gift. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for donating the food funds. Have a lovely evening. Please do rest well. And happy birthday more than anything. Look at that cute little snowman all walked up. <laughs> happy birthday. I do hope you enjoyed the stream. And yeah, it was a fun time. I'm glad people enjoyed it. That's all that really matters. Yay. Okay, let me restart the comment grab because it broke again. As it do so often. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I'd rather it not snow right now. <laughs> Personally. 50 NT book. Achifucha, thanks for playing this game. It's such a dream come true seeing you play this game. Have a nice day. I'm glad we finally got to play it. People have been asking me to play this forever. And yeah, last Halloween, we just didn't get time. So it was like, yes, finally, let's dive into Eve. And since the brand new version came out like earlier this year, perfect time. Thank you for donating the food funds for the NT book. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'd rather have a blue doll. Ugh. What about a doll with blue knees? <laughs> Ayaka, I'm glad you enjoyed playing your favorite game. My favorite game? I'm guessing your favorite game. I also received a membership gift. It was a really fun stream. Thank you, Confidants and Fuchan. Oh, I'm glad you got one of the gifted as well. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Ayaka. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. And yeah, it was a nice game. It was cute. I could definitely see myself like just playing this offline and finishing it. I'm probably not going to anytime soon, but it's one of those things where one day I'll just be like, hmm, I want to see how that actually ends. I want to see the good ending. 
more importantly, I want to see the true ending. I want to see the gallery entire filled. So not the blue knees. Oh, the blue knees. Madison, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Ayaka. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, Fuchan, for playing this game. I'm watching the stream while studying for my exam and it's keeping me awake. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Usute. I can't tell who that is, but that's a beautiful avatar. I don't know if it's a character I just don't know from something, but that's beautiful. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Good luck with whatever you're studying. Please relax, have a lovely time, and good luck with everything. Speaking of Fata Morgana, I just got done watching your VODs of it. Glad you could appreciate that masterpiece. It really was a masterpiece. I was so impressed. It's Asta? Nani the f way. Bum, bum, bum. Huh. I guess I can kind of see the Aster in it. If it is Aster, that's a very interesting version. Beautiful either way. Gummy Kuma, Atsu! Thanks for playing my favorite RPG Maker horror game. It's always interesting to see how people interpret Gary in English because of how his way of speaking doesn't give the same connotations as in Japanese. Yeah, I guess he's one of those characters who's kind of mother coded rather than father coded or big brother coded, I guess. But if he's doing the Atashi, yeah, I wonder if they were going for like a motherly, mothering kind of character who's looking out for Eve throughout the story. Would be nice. It would be nice. She deserves that. And he was pretty cool. He was very nice to Eve, at least. Oh, apparently it's a cookie. <laughs> it's from Cookie Run. God damn it. Somebody really convinced me it was Aster. I was like, ah, Aster. Well, I can kind of see that. The color scheme's the same. It's a Cookie Run character. Thank you. That makes more sense. Um, there was one that wasn't grabbed by the comment grabber, which was Angel Mac. Atsu Folga, I love this game. And bye, you. Thank you so much, Angel Mac. And thank you for all that you've been doing for the VOD watches by putting in like timestamps and everything. It's been really nice. Thank you so much. More big sister vibes in JP? Ah, got ya. There's the Onechan kind of feel rather than the Okasan kind of feel. I guess that makes sense. Sibling energy. They're only separated by like, what, eight years ish? No, way more than eight years. Frick. <laughs> more than 10 years, actually. God, like 15, 12, somewhere around 12 to like 15 years. It could be anything. He's just somewhere in his 20s. <laughs> Felicia Amandelvium. I remembered I Google translated every single word while playing the original version back in those days. Oh my god. I cried for the ending. What's your food, chan? Hope you enjoyed the game. Bye, you and others. Yeah, I enjoyed it in my own way. It was definitely good. I definitely enjoyed like the basic premise. I don't think I loved Gary as much as everybody else did. <laughs> That's more because I was having fun torturing him. I think he needed more time to get to me. The sacrifice was really good. But yeah, just the pathetic man part was kind of adorable and endearing from him. Gary didn't get the death mother hair, but he... <laughs> he dead hair. <laughs> yeah. If he'd had the dead anime mom hair, I probably would have been more prepared for it. <laughs> you didn't give him a chance? Nope. As soon as I broke that statue, I was like, okay. People tell me that's a bad ending. I'm leaning into the bad ending. Let's just ruin this man. Gemini Alice, thanks for playing my favorite RPG Maker game. I'll wait for you to play more of them. Yeah, we're going to be playing another one next week on the same day we play another game. So, there's definitely going to be more things going on. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Gemini Alice, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Gary's one of my baby first RPG crushes. I feel like the character from, what's it called? Angel of Death, the other RPG Maker horror game with like the blonde girl and the very tuny guy. I feel like a lot of people fell in love with that dude as well. <laughs> so that'll be an interesting one to see someday. Zach, thank you. Zach is one that I've seen people like absolutely fall in love with as well. <laughs> Sonen Bam. Atsufu. I'm so happy to see you play my favorite game of all time since I was young. Your favorite game of all time. Let's go. Hope you enjoy it and have a good time. Yeah, it was a wonderful time. Thank you so much for donating the food fund, Sonen Bam. It was good. Definitely not horror to me. It was more like spoopy. <laughs> spoopy rather than spooky. But a fun time. The characters were cute. It was enjoyable. They're little... Um, like the fact that you kind of knew Mary was evil immediately, but then discovering it through the book. Oh, that was so good. Not horror at all. Nah, just more spoopy to me. But it was good. Adamaris. Hey, Futan. Could not watch the whole stream as I had too many assignments. 
I panicked for a second when you walked past Gary. <laughs> I was wondering if I could just walk away from him. That was another one where everybody was freaking out. Like, just as soon as we saw the dude with the purple hair, I just saw chat explode with like, Gary, Gary, best boy, best boy's here, let's go. And I was just like, I'm just going to ignore him. I'm just going to walk away from him. I'm going to literally interact with everything else till they calm down a bit. <laughs> Oh my god. Keeping the stream in the background made me feel calm even though I blanked out. Have a nice day ahead, fool. Thank you so much, Adamaris. Yeah, we're probably not going to be streaming for too much longer. I'm going to try to get some writing done today. Um, and I have a lot of stuff to do with like putting together the collab for next week and trying to get that schedule finished. My main schedule is finished. I'm just trying to put together one final collab. And it's, yeah, having to track down people <laughs> and bully them and be like, you want to join, right? Come on. You should reply to me. Reply to me. <laughs> anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Adamaris, with the huge donation too. Thank you so much. Hope you have a lovely evening and I hope you do rest well. Okay, I think that was all the super chats from now. Yeah, so I can go back to the ones from the past. Boop, -a boop. Okay. Boop. Garcia, thank you for donating the food funds. One of my favorite games. I'm honored to experience your first time with the beautiful world of Eve. I loved the music more than anything. I know this is probably going to annoy some people. <laughs> I would like more if like the paintings were actual art. Like, I feel like that's going to annoy some people because I know a lot of people love pixel art. I would love if like the whole world was as it was. But every time you like interacted with a painting and it told you its name, it would like go HD and like show you a zoom in of the art. I feel like that would be really nice. Just like being able to actually see a full HD quality of some of those creepy paintings and make it a bit more terrifying and a bit more atmospheric. But that's just me. Um, I feel like a lot of people just prefer it as it is, which is fair. <laughs> but especially in hearing that they did like a art exhibit and stuff, it'd be nice if they went ahead and like fully painted some of those ones. It was an old game, limited resources. Yeah, no, I totally get it. And it has its charm in its own way. Like the Mary. Yeah, the Mary and there were a couple ones you got to like zoom in and move up and down on. At least there's real art now. Yeah, I figured they would have like actually repainted them and showed them off. Uh, the game was made by one guy alone. That I didn't know either. I thought it was going to be like a small team. That's really impressive in that part. Especially seeing how far it's come since then. The fact that there's so much put into it in the new released version on Steam. The fact that there's like all these different endings and the gallery room, the exhibition and all kinds of things you can do. That's awesome. So yeah, you could tell how much of a passion project it was, how much they loved it and how much effort they put into it and how much the fans have helped it grow since then into a proper like cult classic kind of thing. Um, hopefully you do do do. Welcome to the gallery. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Garcia. The gallery was wonderful. Nice, haunted, trippy. It was good. I never got to find out why Gary was seeing different things from us either. Why did me and Mary see certain things, but Gary saw different things? Maybe if I'd kept him alive, <laughs> things would have been different and I would have known. Lala, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I'm pretty sure you donated multiple times, but I can't remember. Either way. Wait. Either way, um, this is a good game. I hope you enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Thank you so much, Lala. It was fantastic. Thank you for donating the food funds. Please rest well and have a lovely evening. Paradox Mint. I just think RPG Maker horror games are neat. I I like their style. I don't think they're ever going to scare me, but they, they, you hit that spoopy feeling kind of well, where it feels like it's a horror game made for children. So it's not actually meant to be scary, but it's meant to just like give you that creepy atmosphere. That's why I do have like a list in my head now of some of the things that I actually want to dive into. Um, I figure if this one worked well, maybe witch's house more than mad father i don't know the story of mad father but it just the style doesn't jump at me as much as like witch's house where it looks like fantasy and like creepy little witch children like that should be fun very fun and morgana coded <laughs> so yeah cozy horror yeah that's a good way to put it eve is delulu and mary is tasted wait what there was a sign saying that if you stayed too long in that world you'd start having hallucinations was i in that world longer than him then hmm Maybe because they're like children, sometimes kids see things adults can't. Mary saw the dolls too. She just thought they were cute. Yeah. Oh, 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 she saw the creepy dolls. Oh, <laughs> but then Gary also couldn't see the hanged man. So I guess even Gary would just see in different things. 
Mary was trying to play the, make the place more palatable for Eve, so she'd either stay or leave with her. Oh, that's a good one, actually. If Eve was making it a bit more cute for her, turning the dolls into bunnies and stuff. How about Faith? I'm definitely not playing that this year, but, well, unless I have time. I think Faith is pretty long. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I do want to play that at some point. I said before, mainly because I want to use my priest assets again. <laughs> Mad Father is fun. They're both kind of anxiety inducing. That sounds fun. <laughs> Which is house a classic? Yeah. Get another classic in. Cataclysm. The guillotine death was the, my jump scare. I've played this to completion. But thank you for playing one of my favorites and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Oh, thank you so much, Cataclysm. The guillotine death was definitely surprising to me. I didn't expect it to come the whole way down. <laughs> that, that hit me pretty bad. Oh, God. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds, Cataclysm. Hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for donating. Mad Father is about a daughter and father. Nice. I'd recommend You May Nikki, the OG classic of RPG horror games. Yeah, I think that's the one that gets brought up a lot as being like a really clear inspiration for like Amori and stuff. Um, I might try that one someday. How about Dread Out? Dread Out even slightly related. That's like a 3D game, right? Dread Out. Yeah. We've got no plans for that right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Choo -choo. Good afternoon and good night, Fuchang. Thanks for today's live broadcast. <laughs> Spoilers, Mad Father is about a father. Oh no, now I have to time you out. How dare Sunako? <laughs> Togo dressed up for Halloween last year with his sister cats also dressed up this year. Togo wasn't dressed up last year. He's been way too big for anything for the last few years. And no, I won't dress up the cats. The cats have little claws. They're scary. They barely like being bathed. There's no way in hell I'm trying to shove them into costumes. <laughs> I would just destroy my hands for like a week or two. <laughs> nah, I'll just leave the bowl of candy out for anybody who happens to come by. If they take it, good. If they don't, have candy for weeks, yo. We shall see what happens. But yeah, I just won't let dog... Like, I'll keep dog away from the window too. So he doesn't bark his head off and scare people away. <laughs> cat and cat are menaces. Yeah, they do be. <laughs> um, but, um, but thank you for donating the food funds, Choo Choo. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well and take it easy. Put a dead mouse outside? Oh, God. That would definitely scare people away. If anything, I'd give a dead mouse to the cats. They would enjoy that. No, they only like live ones, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Fube, thank you for donating the Foo Funds. Hope you have a lovely day and please rest to our... Before I Foo, you're a liar. Omori was your first RPG Maker horror game. Was Omori actually built in RPG Maker? I thought it was like its own system. Damn, that's pretty damn impressive if it was. I thought it's genuinely its own system. Yeah? Huh. Okay, this is my second ever RPG Maker horror game. Although Amori didn't really feel like a horror game either. It was just more like a psychological one. It was definitely more horrible than this. Anyway. <laughs> okay. My second ever RPG Maker game. And tomorrow... Well, not tomorrow. Next week, we'll do our third. Shimomi. Wonder if Fuchan would chase Mary if he didn't know her secret. Even if I knew her secret, I wanted to leave with her. <laughs> Like, I very clearly tried to pull down the painting. I just wasn't strong enough. I wanted to be like, okay, Mary, I'll leave with you. She just seemed like she wanted out of the painting world too. She had her blue flower. She traded a place. I, I was sad that I had to burn down her painting. I would have been much more happy if it was just like, come on, Mary. Let's come out together. You can be a real girl. Just like Marilyn. Maybe she'd become a VTuber. <laughs> Mary was too fast. Yeah, she was right on me the second time I clicked that. Oh my God. Looking forward to seeing you enjoy other classics. Hell yeah. We'll see what happens next week. How much I love the other one. But thank you for donating the food fund, Shimomi. Hope you have a lovely evening and please rest a well. while. Plus, it probably would have been a creepy bad end. And we always like diving into those and seeing what happens. Mary was Sonic Speed, man. Yeah, I mean, she knew she was about to die. So that's fair. <laughs> Where did you put the half mouse that ended up in your bed? In the bin. <laughs> I threw it in the bin. I wrapped up the bin bag. And yeah, that went out of the house immediately because those, uh, the, they, they smell real bad real quickly. So yeah, no, I just got that shit out of there. <laughs> Nixie, thank you for donating the food funds. So excited. I hope you enjoyed the stream, Nixie. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Chiyosu, thank you for the stream and my favorite game playing. I'm surprised how many people consider this their favorite game. That's awesome. 
I'm guessing it's partly nostalgia, but at the same time, yeah, the atmosphere was amazing. The music was great. The art was adorable. I'm just surprised how many people still consider it after such a long time. That's great. Mogeko Castle? A lot of people are talking about that one. Mogeko Castle. A prosciutto adventure game? I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait. Is it good is one of the first questions. Considering Mogiko's other two games, I don't think it was all warranted, but it wasn't good. It lacked any of the charm and cute characters of other games, was filled with extremely gross dialogue, jokes that failed to make me even crack a smile, and horrible chase sequences. Um, the reviews aren't great, guys. <laughs> um, considering Mogiko, oh man, wow, yeah, ooh. It just says it's like gross and gruesome, which could be fun. Has a lot of trigger warnings, I guess. Ah, so we may not even be allowed to play it. Let me see some of this art. <laughs> okay, this looks wild. This looks adorable and also creepy. Yeah, okay, I'm bookmarking this for later. I'll have a better look into this and see what it's up with it. You guys think I would like it? Then I will have a look. It's very not okay, but it's interesting. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes when things are terrible, it's a lot of fun just to lean into them and be like, well, it has its own style. <laughs> it's it's good at what it does. <laughs> Kid is not functioning. Thank you so much for donating the few funds. I'm so hyped for this. This is part of my childhood, so I'm so excited to see you go through it. Thank you so much. I had a lovely time. Ayano Uta is disturbing. Do you mean Sayano Uta? Because me and Ike, that's one, both of us. We both like really love that game. <laughs> Sayano Uta is a trip, but it's fun. I was like pretty much anything by Uro Butcher. Wanda no Hara. Wanda no Hara. Wanda no Hara. And the Great Blue Sea. Why are these all involving little witch girls? <laughs> Adorable though. Character designs in this are cute. I'll have a look at that one too. I saw a few people mention that one. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Properly look that up later. Um, ba -ba -bum. Oh, Lala, thank you for donating again. It's very sweet. Oh, did you do a whole rainbow? Oh, you did. Thank you so much for all the donations. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Lala. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and with all the donated gifted members, which I'll read properly at the end of the stream. But thank you so much, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well after this, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. Pocket Mirror is a really good horror RPG game. Yeah, that one came out pretty recently, right? Like, I'm not sure if it was a remake, but they definitely had like a... Like a new version of that come out last year, I think? Or maybe even this year. Bum, bum, bum. Kasumi Hayasi, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I'm not sure how I feel about the colon D. <laughs> but thank you for joining the food funds. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Spore can become horror? I mean, no. <laughs> Don't even try it. <laughs> Spore is a fun game, but it is not a horror game. Oh, man. All the gifters are going to run out of people to gift at this point? Yeah, you'd think so. We got so many at the beginning. The original Corpse Party was made in RPG Maker? That's crazy as well. Thinking about how beautiful it looks nowadays. Colin D, are you calling this? That's literally what it is. Nixie! Lily's Well is another amazing one with the little girl as the main character. More graphic, though it's still pixel art. Oh, so they don't have like CGs in it? That's not graphic at all then. I would never say that like pixel art could ever actually be graphic because I mean, it's pixels. <laughs> if you can't really see anything and you have to like imagine it, it's kind of like a book to me. Like, I don't ever see the point of books really having like an age. Well, a maturity rating might be okay, but like a minimum age rating, I just, you have to imagine things. So when it comes to like pixel art, it's the same thing to me. Like if the pixels like explode all over the thing, it's like, ah, oh, they do have CGs. Okay, there we go. <laughs> In which case, fair enough. Even if it's pixel, well, shit <laughs> when i'm saying pixel art what i mean <laughs> is like the the proper like tiny tiny um like 8 bit 12 bit 16 bit i'm not talking about when they actually start to make like pixelated art that basically is huge 
But anyway, thank you for donating the coupons. Hope you have a lovely evening. From Madness with Love. Yeah, that was technically pixel art. Laura Shigihara stuff is technically pixel art as well, but it basically looks like actual images at that point. Technically, you're just pixels, just a lot of them. This is true. Once you get high enough pixels, things start to look real rather than pixelated. Anything digital is pixel art. Kid is not functioning. Thank you for donating the food funds. Such as your head. Stay safe and don't kill Eeb. I didn't. I killed everybody else. Except for my parents. Although. My mother didn't show up in the, <laughs> in the gallery. So who knows? Maybe she's technically dead too. We never did go down and find both of our parents. We just kind of stared at the painting and then the game ended. Who knows? Maybe she got murdered downstairs while I was upstairs with father. Cataclysm. Have you heard of Edna and Harvey games? Nope. It's kind of creepy point and click adventure. Dark undertone like Frenbo. Cool. I might check that out later. Definitely got enough horror games for the rest of spooky season though. Uh, Rain Balloween Boo. <laughs> the teacup puzzle was so aggravating. Aggravating. Teating. Ting. That's a stretch. <laughs> aggravating. Four out of ten. <laughs> not great. Not terrible, but not great. Thank you for turning the food funds. Tsukishiro. Oh, I watched. I read that one. Um. Oh, yeah, we caught up with stream. Uh, super chats now. Okay, good. No other tea kettle. How dare. Really like that game. Definitely remember, recommend the L-I-E-A-T trilogy. L-I-E-A-T? I don't even know what that is. Let me Google. L-I-E-A-T. That video game is literally just called that. Oh, this is a really cute art style. Is this like a visual novel or is this again RPG Maker? Ah, uh, yeah, it's RPG Maker style. Again, the character designs go so hard in all of these stories, though. Oh, damn. Interesting. I think I prefer visual novels. <laughs> I think I prefer visual novels for just like enjoying the artwork and story. A gravy teen? No, it was like aggravating. But then instead of the ting. It turned it into ting, aggravating, pain, <laughs> suffering, <laughs> pure pain and suffering. Okay, I'm going to jump into Stream Labs. Bum, 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 bum. We're just giving you RPG Maker X now. Yeah, and I'm not going to have any time to finish them anyway. We're pretty much wrapped up when it comes to spooky season for all the things I'm going to be playing. If I can get Faith in, it would be good. I've seen a lot of people recommending Faith, so hopefully. But other than that, I'm not going to try to fit anything else in other than the bunch of things that I already have planned. Uh... Ray Ray, thank you so much for donating the food funds. <laughs> That's so cute. I'd never heard of that before. Oh, this must have been last night. Okay. I, I get you. It says not to read it out loud, but thank you so much for donating the food funds, Ray Ray. That's a cool idea. That's the kind of thing I want, yeah. Since I'm on like the third floor, I'd like, yeah, it would be cool to just have something hanging down. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. Have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us today. And Annie, thank you for the huge donation of the food funds. Escape the back rooms was so fun. It was my first time watching this game, but I really liked it. Thanks for the collab, Fu Chang. Had many laughs tonight and gained some energy back after working for the whole day. And I hope you had fun too, Otsufu. I did have a lot of fun. That final area definitely killed me a little bit. <laughs> and the area right before that where I died to the electricity super early on was definitely painful. But other than that, I had fun throughout like all of it. It was a good time. It was just a lot of fun. I just wish I had survived a bit longer, had a bit more energy at the end. It was nice scaring people more than anything else. That was my favorite part. <laughs> the bugs. Yeah, the bugs that I didn't realize. You just you just had to do a labyrinth. I felt like there was something more to that, but apparently not. You just you had to do a labyrinth, man. <laughs> cool it had to be. Love you, Menace. I'm so glad that people like clipped so many of those moments as well, because yeah, it was fun making Ike scream and square. A square? Scream and swear and making Verse scream twice. 
and Uki. Uki and Ver hiding together was really funny to me as well. <laughs> a little repetitive with the bugs. Yeah, and the area before that, like there was just so much area to explore for those switches. They just looked so similar just with the dogs and stuff. It was very much just like, meh. <laughs> the crouch strat. The crouch strat was so good, man. It made it take so long, though. <laughs> um, ba -ba Demos. There are only two games I'm going to play demos of in the future. And I won't tell you what they are. I'll be playing them when I come back from my break. And they're games that people definitely want me to play. But unfortunately, I'm only able to play the demos of them. But yeah, something big. Something that will be a very good one-off thing. Equia. Spoopy fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us all these incredible games. In a way that makes them even better. I have a lot of fun while watching. And it's great to see you having so much fun too. I'm excited for the rest of the month. Bye, you. Equi, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for the huge donation. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun doing all these horror games as well. Very different from what we normally do. I mean, we've got ones like Spirit Hunter NG, which we're basically just playing for the storyline. So that's fun. That's basically what we do most of the time on the channel. But then, yeah, everything else being spoopy, trying some pixel horror, trying some action stuff, trying some group games. There's been a lot going on. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you for donating the food funds, Equi. And finally, Oneba. Or Onba? <laughs> Sorry if I can't pronounce your name right. Uh, oh, I know your real name. I won't call it out because you've chosen to be one bar, but I see it. <laughs> Do -do -do. Um, br -br -br. Yeah, I can read that one out loud. Otsu Sir, TY for the stream. I have a question. I really adore your attitude towards work. Like, you always find positivity in it. May I ask how to not get stressed over work? Just take breaks whenever you can, kind of thing. You just need to let things not stress you that really don't matter. A lot of the time in life, we let things weigh us down when they really don't matter, when you actually think about it. Like, if you get a new pile of work dropped on your desk just randomly, if you get stressed over it and get angry and get pissed off, that makes it so much worse. It makes it, like, weigh down on you heavier. If you're just like, nah, I'll do it. It'll take some time. It's fine. Just don't get stressed over things. Same thing as like random crap, like a, a different employee is a piece of crap. That's on them. Just like ignore them. Let it fall off of you. Just remember that you're there for the job. Do what you can, what you have to for the money and don't let anything else stress you out. Release that stress when you get home. And that's one of the biggest things to definitely do is like find separation between work and home. It's harder if you have like a huge amount of passion for your work. But if it is just a nine to five kind of thing you really don't care about, it's just to make money. Then yeah, have that separation. As soon as that clock hits 5 p.m., brain go off of work. Brain turn back to your brain. You enjoy the rest of your day. You plan for things like that. You don't ever think about the fact that, oh no, I have a big report I have to do soon. Or, oh, that account needs to be closed soon. Just make sure you've got it separate. You are there for the hours that they pay you for. Your job is not you. So just definitely try to find that separation. Try to find things that calm you down outside of it. Have hobbies, that kind of thing. Um, when it comes to things that stress you out in work, I get stressed out a lot in work. <laughs> Even though I love the job, there are definitely times that things get dropped on me and it's like, really? I have two days to do this and you know how busy my schedule is and yet you dropped it on me. It's like... That's annoying, and I'm angry, but then I'm just like, take a deep breath. Ah, <sighs> okay, it's fine. We'll work on that when we can. We'll do what we can. We'll try to get it done in time. Other than that, we'll keep doing the streams and having fun. It's a little harder when we're literally live. I think that's the biggest problem. The biggest problem is, yeah, there are definitely moments where I get angry at things when live, when I just react to them instantly. Like, last night, I got a bit angry at myself because i timed someone out but i timed them out in a very rude way like i forget who it was oh it was someone suggesting who i should raid that's all it was it wasn't that big of a deal but at the time because i had already like been doing a bunch of other things like i was already stressed it was late at night and that's just one of my like little trigger things where it's like don't tell me who to raid i don't even have to raid there are plenty of people in niji sanji who never raid anyone and yet people feel like they can guide me and stuff. So that always annoys me. But I should have just, instead of being like, don't tell me who to raid, enjoy your time out. I should have like taken a moment and been like, okay, 
I'm timing you out. Do not tell me who to raid. I can choose who to raid myself, and I can even choose not to raid anyone. Don't try to guide it, kind of thing. But yeah, I'm sure they didn't have any bad intentions either. It was just because naturally, like, text speak. If you're in a bad mood and you read text, it comes across as rude. <laughs> Whereas if you're in a good mood and you read some text, you can, like, even take a pure insult as just a joke and just laugh it off. But yeah, if you're getting tired, if you're getting frustrated and you see someone say, like, do this, it doesn't come across as... Oh, do this. It comes across as do this kind of thing. And at that point, it's just like, ugh. But yeah, I felt bad about that. And I tried to control it a bit more today because I'm not going to lie. The backseaters during today's game, considering I started this stream by saying, I'm going in blind. Please do not backseat me. Please do not spoil. And yet there was still that constant stream of like, oh, this character. I love this character. And oh, no, he clicked a thing. Reload. Reload the game. Are you going to reload? Are you going to reload? It's like instantly like, oh, I guess I'm locked into a bad ending. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't know there were even multiple endings at that point. <laughs> so then I was just like, well, fuck it. <laughs> we ball. We see what happens with this. And yeah, the more that people tell me not to do things when I'm in that kind of mood, the more I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it. <sighs> But it is what it is. I tried to just roll with it and have a good time with the game anyway. But yeah, maybe I just need to ignore chat sometimes and just completely look away. My mods do a good job, but they can't delete everything when there's like a constant spam of things like that, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, and that's me not blaming my mods at all. That's me literally saying the mods do an amazing job. It's just, yeah, there was a lot of people today and it was hard. Ashros, thank you so much for donating the few funds. I've always had a special spot in my heart for Eeb. Part of the reason I love roses and I still listen to the music all the time. See, roses aren't too interesting to me. Um, probably just because I see them so much. It feels like everybody loves roses and they're like the classic flower for like, I love you kind of thing. Different colored roses are definitely cool. I've never seen a yellow rose. I've seen blue roses and they're beautiful. Black roses are gorgeous. But yeah, like red roses... There's a reason they're one of the most beloved flowers. They are pretty. It's just you see them so much, right? You just get kind of used to them. <laughs> but they are still pretty. I prefer like chrysanthemums, um, red spider lily. Hell yeah. But again, that's another one. Like I remember when I first watched Jigoku Shoujo, I fell in love with the red hurricane lily or licorice radiata. And then I saw it again in like the dot hack light novels and then... And like anything Japanese to do with hell, like everything always came back to red spider lilies. And it was like, oh, they're everywhere. And that became like a basic thing to me as well, which is sad because it's such a beautiful flower. But me, yeah, being such a contrarian piece of crap. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, everybody knows about these now. I need something special. I need something different. I mean, now I just have like wolfsbane and stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, the plants that I actually just grow myself are just basic ass hot cows plants because I'm so bored there, boring and lazy with them. Oh man, the rose moon cake. Let's not with the rose. I'm so glad I threw that out immediately. That needed to die. That ugh. it really did taste like Chanel number no. five. I hated it. <laughs> During my Chuni stage, I liked spider lilies too. They're good for what they resemble and everything. Like the stories that come from them, the symbolism that comes from them is all fantastic. It's just, yeah, because it's so fantastic, people use it so much. So it's just like it gets overused and it's like, I don't want to associate myself with that anymore. It's associated with so many other characters and like so many other places and stuff. I think it's CYL. Otsufu, TY. Playing my first RM horror game. Why can't we just drag fake Gary back to the real world? At least we can still have a Gary with us. I mean, how bad would it be for an eight-year-old girl to drag a dead body through the painting? <laughs> that would have been pretty bad. But yeah. I guess he was wilted as well. Maybe if we had started to, like, drag him, he would have, like, fallen to pieces. Because at that wilted kind of stage, yeah. You touch too much and it basically just crumbles to pieces. So maybe a good thing she didn't touch him. <laughs> that would have been a really bad, bad ending. <laughs> Every time I hear spider lilies, it reminds me of Hell's Girl. Yeah, Jigoku Shoujo. That's where I first saw them. And then, yeah, like I said, they show up in like everything. Uh, anything like Japanese that's like attached to hell normally or like sin or separation. They, 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 they're they there for a reason. There's a reason people love them. They're a beautiful flower and the symbolism is amazing. But yeah, you just see something so much. It's just like it becomes basic, right? <laughs> it just becomes basic. You may hire. I'm not sure if my super got eaten. Work is crazy, but I wanted to thank you for the stream today. 
Really having something to focus on today at work kept me from fighting my management. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Yeah, you definitely don't want to deck your manager. It may be fun, <laughs> but it's fun for one moment. And then, you know, becomes a problem when you can't get another job after that because, yeah, people talk, unfortunately. Thank you for donating the food funds you may hire, though. I hope your day gets better from here on out. Thank you so much for joining us. Please rest well and take it easy. I was going to give my friend a spider lily and she thought I was trying to curse her. Oh, but they're such pretty plants, man. Plants are just plants. That's the thing. Even if they look evil. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for donating the food funds you may hire. Have a lovely evening. And Kasumi Hayashi, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Good night. Good night. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. Ayasumi Nasai. Definitely rest well and get some good sleep. Did a long bunch of streams recently. This is the shortest one in a while. That's why I'm actually going to use this evening as much as I can. Kishami! When I'm stressed, I go to AO3 and read your fanfics. Fair enough. <laughs> long as you enjoy them, that's what matters. Oh, God. Which partnerships do you wear? Uh, where? Read. Do you read the self cess stuff? Do you read the, do you read the like, loving stuff? Do you read the violent stuff? Where, which pairings? What, what are you hitting up? Let me know. In fact, this is the one time I'm going to let you talk about that in chat. You've got five minutes, chat. Go ahead. Which are the, which are the pairings you read? <laughs> Def Kuzu, thank you for trying. No problem. I had a lovely day. Thank you for donating through funds. Hurt no comfort is the way to go. There we go. The angsty ones? Ah, oh, hell yeah. Cyborg, cyborg. Fulgatus and all foo. I dare not say. <laughs> angst. I'm glad there's a lot of angst. Oh, uh, angst. I read self cess at the same time and my mind combined them. Angst cessed should be a thing though. <laughs> R slash lay. Hurt no comfort. Also platonic stuff. Ah, oh, platonic stuff is good. Sugar and Full Drop. Ah, Full Drop's a pretty new one. I don't think it has too much art. But the art I've seen from Full Drops has been pretty nice. The Sugar stuff is always nice. The Sugar stuff is normally like very vanilla and very like comforting. Whereas much, most of like the other pairings are just like, damn. Shit gets serious. <laughs> he doesn't know. Oh, apparently not. If there's some really, really dark Sugar stuff. Uh, comfort for me. Full drop fan arts are crazy. Full drop fan arts go hard. I don't know why, but yeah, the ones that I have seen, there's not a ton of them, but the ones that I have seen are like powerful. Cyborg, full drop, full gartis, politics, and Robocop. Damn! Somebody has an entire list! <laughs> Ike Fu, Niji Riders, let's go. Dr. Ovid and Father Ovid. Oh, I didn't even think about combining those ones. All X Fu. Oh, dear God. Cyborg Mermaid Scientist. I did like the art that came out of that one. Yeah. The uh, Uki is a mermaid and me is a scientist. That one was always good. Although Uki is a mermaid, like, gets into, like, all the other ships quite a bit. Because Uki is a mermaid just works so well. Politics is so good. Xenomorph X Fu! Shibobi, why? Uh, is there actually any of those out there? There can't be, right? There's been... No, there hasn't been enough time. We've only been watching the Alien movies for a short time, let alone playing the Alien game. That can't be a thing. Anyway, Angel Mac, thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> thank you for the rose super sticker. I'm sorry the comfy grabber doesn't grab those. But I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely day. Is that a challenge? No, it's not a challenge. <laughs> it was just a genuine question of like, that can't have happened already, right? I'm guessing since nobody said it, I'm guessing we are safe for now. New ship, Gary slash Foo. Angst, hurt, no comfort. I think if me and Gary ever met, we'd just become bros, honestly. We'd just become bros that hang out and like, yeah, it's just like, hmm. I'm more tuny than you. I'm the Dark Flame Master. Oh, yeah? Well, there's a demon. Wait. Where is it? Oh, yeah? Well, there's a demon uh, stored in this hand. And if I ever released the metal and unleashed the flesh, you'd die in a heartbeat. Meanwhile, he's not actually that tuny. He just dresses tuny. <laughs> he's actually just genuinely a nice guy who tries to help people. But I've just decided he's tuny in my head. I, It's just the outfit, man. It's just the outfit. Aon Sumita. Otsufuchan. Hisashibi no ao. Oh, that's a cute combination. Hisashiburi. Just wanted to say hello to you and everyone on here. Have a good day. Night, everybody. Sarang hey, hey, hey.
<laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds on Simita. And I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you for joining us. The Kaito BGM intensifies. Oh, don't even joke. If it wasn't a major copyright problem, I would have that on my soundboard just to be able to be like. Judgment nights of. Just whenever I have a tuny moment, just be like. Yo, guys, you know what? I have the energy to become a god. Judgment nights of. Yeah. <laughs> It would be so cringe. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Ansamita. Have a lovely evening and please rest well. Steak hours. Watching Eve was a great way to start the weekend. This game is my favorite JRPG horror game, so TY for the stream. I haven't been able to watch lately because I'm starting my new job at the library soon. Yo, you got a job at the library? Congratulations. What as? Are you full on like librarian or archivist or... Is it like one where you're just stacking books and stuff? Because either way, that's awesome. Working at a library. Ah, oh, God, heaven. Just read books. Just ignore the things you actually have to do. <laughs> just hide in a corner with a book and just be like, hey. Anytime somebody asks you a question, just be like, what, one minute, one minute. Just spend like a solid 45 seconds getting to the end of the paragraph and then close it and just be like, okay, now what was that? <laughs> <laughs> library jobs are the best jobs yeah so relaxing so this is not how it works but imagine if it did though it's the same like i imagine the same for working at a bookstore in reality it's like a lot of stocking stuff and restocking and checking things and pre-ordering things and uh, paperwork and bull crap but i like to imagine you just hang out in a corner and read books until people annoy you and you have to actually do work <laughs> let him dream exactly let me dream let me enjoy my library dreams <laughs> either way snake hours that sounds amazing congratulations on the new job i hope you love it i'm sure it's not going to be as crazy as i just described but either way i'm sure it's going to be amazing and yeah whatever you're doing it sounds awesome the chan that's called a bookstore au true it's just like all those coffee shop aus where pretty much like every every like old school series that was on TV where it was like they were supposedly had like really good jobs but they never did them <laughs> like the entire runtime was just devoted them to hang devoted to them hanging out with their friends and it's like they somehow live in amazing apartments in New York and they can afford that without barely ever doing work apparently it makes no sense but it's fun the friends effect yeah friends how I met your mother oh my god everything Sex in the City, I guess. I've never actually watched Sex in the City. I'm just going to assume they don't really do work too much on that show. Old bookshop, Foo? Hell yeah. I'd like to work in like a secondhand bookstore. Less people would come in and the people that did come in would be interesting. Every book lover has a dream of opening a bookstore themselves. Or oh, 100%. Yeah. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. They exclusively do work in Brooklyn. That's like the opposite. I mean, it's not real police work. We never see them do the like piles and piles of paperwork or anything but Brooklyn and 99 they're constantly on patrol and stuff they never really take a day off god i miss Brooklyn 99 i miss andy sandberg his like time loop movie was really good as well palm springs palm springs was so good anyway <laughs> Otsu, i really enjoyed the stream both day and night oh yeah for anyone in asia this is the second stream of the day. <laughs> Whereas for me, it's the first day and yesterday was the double stream. <laughs> I just bought the Halloween voice of 2022. I look forward to hearing about it on Halloween day. You're going to play it on Halloween. That's such a nice idea. I hope you enjoy it. It's a very comfy one. It's a very simple one. Like there's not much of a story to it. It's more like ASMR relaxation kind of vibe. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I personally... I, I enjoyed that one. I think I prefer the Autumn in General one. I wonder if they're going to release the Autumn in General one. Because that one, I barely had a script. I just went for it and I really liked what happened. Aziraphale Bookstore. I know, right? Jelly. <laughs> Wait, did I buy that one? Hold on. Uh, if you didn't, I think it's only on sale for like another couple of hours. I think they said somewhere last night that it had 24 hours left. That's really cute, Kasumi. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it when you listen to it on Halloween. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a shame I couldn't do a Halloween 2023 one. Oh, I wanted to be on the art, man. The Halloween art always looks so good. They never give me Halloween. They gave me road trip. 
with Luca. I was driving Luca around. Go on. Uh. Minty the Vint Sheep. What's you bar in the game? Recently applied for a job to take care of kids. Hopefully I'll get accepted. In the meantime, I'll enjoy your streams. Aw, uh, I hope you enjoy the job. Working with children is challenging, but I mean, depending on what it is, it could be good. Um, if it's like a one-on-one -on -one thing, fantastic. If it's a group setting, good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> but you can't drive. I'll have you know I'm one of the few people in Nijisanji who knows how to drive. I mean, <laughs> can't anymore because of my issues. But I could drive. I was a very good driver. In fact, I've literally said it before. I sold my car to buy a PC when I got injured. So, yeah. One of the few people who actually genuinely has a license. So, ha. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> few. Few. Damn straight. Did you can drive. Anyway. <laughs> I'll enjoy your streams. Thank you so much, Minty the Mid Sheep. I hope it goes well. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Hope that all goes well. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. And good luck with everything. That sounds like a fun job. I love the Foo Halloween voice pack so much. Oh, I'm glad you do. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's broken. I just have... It's like, why isn't the Comfy Grabber moving? It's been broken for a while. The Wolf Air Freshener smells nice. They still haven't sent me that. I'm so mad. I want my freaking Shiro and uh, 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 Bleep Bleep pillow as well. I, I really want those. <laughs> but yeah, they haven't sent those yet. So I still don't know what the smell of wood is. I'll never get to know what the smell of wood is. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh my God. The rare time a liver can drive. True. True. Bum, 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 bum. I was literally thinking about which members of Niji Sanji could or couldn't drive the other day. You were one of the people I put as can drive. Glad I was right. Yeah. I can't drive thing stick but yeah automatic automatic's easy automatic i think it took me like three days to learn it's more just a matter of confidence because the first time you get in a car yeah you push down on the pedal and you're like <laughs> you hold the brake and you're like i don't want to let go of the brake i don't want to go over you let go of the brake and you start to sp slowly glide and you're like ah 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 you immediately put your foot back down on the brake oh god it was a fun three days and the fact that like <laughs> On the third day, Genius here decided to go and get on the interstate. I was like, yeah, I'll drive on the interstate. This will be fun. I'll just do like one loop. It'll still be like nearby. I can drive back through the normal areas after that. They happen to be doing construction. My third day ever driving. <laughs> they happened to be doing construction. So there was only one merging lane. And I was going like super slow trying to let people get in front of me. I was thinking if enough people get in front of me, then I can just pull behind swiftly. There was just more and more cars coming. I was running out of room to merge. There was an asshole behind me like honking his horn like mad. It was terrifying. <laughs> that set me back like five. I don't think I drove after that for like five days. And then when I went back to driving, I was just fine. Like that was that was my only terrifying moment. <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh, God. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I just, I wasn't as used to the acceleration yet. And the first time you get on an interstate, oh, having to merge, normally you have like two lanes to merge onto an interstate. So you get like lots of time. You get like lots of space. But just because of the way they were doing construction, it was like half the amount of time you normally have to merge and only one lane to merge into. It sucked. <sighs> anyway, that's my fun learning to drive story. We got 26 scares from Eve. Yep. 26 scares just from... No, I'm kidding. That's from the entire month so far. <laughs> People are total jerks on the interstate. I mean, yeah, I probably looked stupid to them. But yeah, the fact that they were honking just made it worse for me. <laughs> Merging is scary even after many years of driving. Depending on who is on the other side, yeah. There are so many idiots who just try to get in front of you no matter what. And it's like, why? It's 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 one car length. Like you, you can go around once they've merged. Why do you have to torture people like that? It's like, no, I'm not slowing down five miles per hour to make sure they can merge safely. They have to break hard to get behind me. It's like, how self-obsessed do you have to be? <laughs> Paradox Mint, thank you for donating the food funds. I love my Shiro and Bleep Bleep pillow. I use it as landmark support as work. That's what I want to use it for too, for the rare moments that I sit down. I'm going to have it like at my streaming desk, like at the chair that I use like every now and then. Just for when I need it, just to stick it in the air in the middle of my back. It's, ah, uh, someday it'll come. 
I'm glad you're enjoying yours, Paradox Mint. Thank you for turning the food funds. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Road Rage. It's not even Road Rage at that point. It's just Road Douchiness. Because, I mean, it always works out in the end. God. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Just thinking about ways you could get revenge on them. But then that turns into road rage. That's when it gets bad. When they like merge, they torture you for just trying to merge. And then it's like, oh, really? Well, then I'll just follow you five feet from your car the whole way home, scaring the shit out of you. And it's like, no, that's when it turns into road rage. Leave it alone. <laughs> Felicia, I'm in Delivium again. Thank you so much. Working with kids needs a lot of patience. Yeah. I sort of yell at the kids for not paying attention during class. That's that's a problem. <laughs> I felt sorry at the end as some of them came and apologized to me at the end of the class. That's cute, though. At least they apologized. At least they weren't salty about it. Um, it depends on how old the kids are as well. If they're, like, super young, yeah, you can never yell. You yell at them, they start crying, and it's just like, oh, no, that's horrible. What have I done? So, yeah, with kids, even if they are, like, absolutely running you up the wall, you've got to be, like, very sweet and kind on the outside and gentle. Like when you're training a dog, if you show dogs a great... Well, that's a horrible thing to compare it to. But it actually does work in tandem with both kids and dogs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's best not to show aggression because you get aggression back. Um, but yeah, in general, yeah, you have to like... Even if on the inside, you're like, you stupid brat. What are you doing? Why? Why would you throw the paint on the freaking ceiling? Do you know how long I'm going to be stabbing a mop onto the ceiling to try to get that off? On the outside, you have to be like, oh, you painted the ceiling. You know, you're not supposed to do that. I can't exactly get you to clean it up either because it's on the ceiling. Um... Um, if you do that again, I'm going to have to tell your parents. Meanwhile, you're thinking of the other ways you could use that mop as a baseball bat. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Willie Shab and Delivium. Yep, that, that takes a lot of self-control. God, I don't think I could ever go back to teaching kids. <laughs> I think I had enough of it to the point where, yeah, the stress gets to your body. and You're just like, nah, I can't handle it anymore. If I teach kids, I may actually backhand one and then I'll go to jail and I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> it's okay. Just, you know, family friends, like, you know, your cousins and stuff. Then you, then you could be like, hey, you broke my game system. You get punched. I say this, I'm thinking about like when I was a kid as well, specifically. <laughs> when I was like 14 and like an 11 year old cousin would be like, I spilled juice on your Nintendo 64 and it was like, did you now? Did you now? <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> should I be regretting my decision for sending the application? No, it's an incredibly rewarding job. Teaching children, seeing them grow, see them learn new things. Um, Definitely like, it also gets really painful at like the end of a year and everything, having to say goodbye to the children. Um, especially depending on how young you teach them, they may just like forget you within a year or two, which is really sad. <laughs> you could be a child's absolute favorite teacher when they're like four or five. Two to three years later, they come back, their sibling, and they're like, their parents like drag them along when they're like eight to nine, and they're like, oh, come on. You remember Mr. Fusan Sensei, don't you? You remember Fuchan Sensei? And the child's just like, standing behind their parents like not knowing what to say <laughs> it's like ah but uh, i remember you you were my favorite student too but okay that's that's fine you probably have a new favorite teacher now and you don't care anymore and okay i'll teach your sibling though that's fine <laughs> i would cry it is actually quite emotional sometimes when you get the end of the year the first time you get to like an end of a year or just like a child moving on from whatever yeah the first time is always like oh but I cared about you so much. And then the second time is like, oh, I'm going to miss you kids. And then the third time you're like, oh, thank God they're gone. I hope the next year is easier. God, please. <laughs> Being a TA that needs to connect with kids, that hits so hard. Yeah, TA. Oh, God, that's the thing. It all depends on how much paperwork you have to do, too. <laughs> I had definitely found the more paperwork you had to do the less you ended up liking the job. <laughs> Teaching is actually very fun and very rewarding. Meanwhile, the amount of things you have to grade, the amount of things you have to do, the amount of hoops you have to dive through just to make sure that the school agrees that you're teaching. 
and the government agrees that the school is doing a good job it's all so tiresome it's like i just want to teach the kids can i just teach the kids can you hire someone to do all this dumb shit maybe the shit that isn't teaching children what i signed up for but okay <laughs> Aaron conferences one fair those are always pretty good for me i I'm not going to lie to you. There were some times I would just like make up things and get through a parent-teacher conference. <laughs> like obviously you could get through most of them actually knowing a child. I'm not going to lie. There were a few times that I was just like, I'm drawing a blank. No, your kid is awesome. They really love cricket. They play cricket a lot. And so we connected things in that way. Um, Yeah. And they were like, oh, I didn't know my son was interested in cricket. I have to get them a set at home and it's like yes they'll love that i hope <laughs> it's like yeah no 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 they totally love cricket at the playground maybe maybe it's just because they don't have any opportunity to do it at home yeah totally totally <laughs> gaslight the parents i mean it was only like one or two but yeah it's just one of those things where it's like this kid just doesn't really stand out. They just, they do everything fine. They don't do anything like amazing. They don't do anything bad. So it's just like, they're a pleasure to have in class. They don't fight. They probably have friends. Oh. <laughs> Upper primary should be fine. Oh, okay, good. I should bring my bleep pillow as an emotional bleep foo port. I do cry when I attend the graduation ceremony of last year. See, I never got to children that age, to be fair. So I never had to have the thing of them literally going to a different um, entire thing. Yeah, that'd be pretty wild. Seeing the entire class get ready to go to secondary. Oh, God. Thank you for donating the food funds, though. Don't worry, your child is perfectly average. See, that would work. <laughs> that would have been the better thing to do. But if you can't talk about the child, God, parents talk. Parents talk a lot. Like, you talk about one child, like, really well. You're like, oh, yeah, no, they specifically love this thing. Like, oh, they loved it so much. We've been working on this. And in tandem with this, we're preparing to go into this. They're doing amazingly at this subject. And then the next child, you're just like, yeah, they're doing good. No complaints. On your way out. But yeah, the parents start to talk about that. And then you get a complaint from the headmaster that's like, why didn't you show as much attention to this kid? And it's like, they're a good kid. There's nothing really beyond that. <laughs> they're, they're a good kid. <laughs> Sneku. Atsu. Speaking of kids, I used to work with kids with special needs and it can be fun and like cl cleaning afterwards. The kitchen was a war zone. Oh, yeah. I'd, I've worked with a couple of special needs students, um, but we always had like TAs and stuff that helped that more. So um, I had all the training and everything. Just in general, yeah, working with like extremely young kids, you have to like let them get their hands dirty and stuff. Letting them experiencing like how to, yeah, produce food is a big one. And letting them experience the natural world, which means you are constantly cleaning up mud and dirt every time they go outside because you want them to be exploratory. You want them to be digging in the dirt. You want them to be getting muddy. You want them to experience all of that. And the same thing in the kitchen. You can't just cut up everything for them. You've got to be teaching them how things work. So you teach them how to cut and they do it very poorly <laughs> and they spill things everywhere and it's all just part of it. Yeah, TA equals teacher's assistant. But yeah, like I said, incredibly rewarding job. It's just also incredibly, incredibly hard. It's, it's tiring. It is, it will break you down. And that's one of the sad things about it is it is one of those ones that will like break you down, but you'll like doing it because you enjoy the rewarding aspects of it. So you'll keep going until the point where it really breaks you down. And especially depending on the school system you're in, if they don't treat, well, I, I, there's very few places that actually treat teachers properly. But yeah, depending on how bad it is, yeah, then you've also got the school itself treating you like crap and trying to use that against you as well. We discussed that yesterday yeah teachers should be treated better it's a very rewarding job it's a very hard job and it's incredibly important guess what if we don't teach kids we don't have a good society that's like step one uh, raise kids properly god damn it and then you know things would be better <laughs> rather than us shoving them into like classrooms with 40 students to one teacher and just everything just being mess hitting the wall and nobody learning and just yeah Anyway, with that depressing note, <laughs> I think it's a good time to end the stream. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. 
Um, tonight, I've got a few things to work on. I'm going to try and start working on one of the horror stories. I think I'm going to start... Actually, I'll just see what I feel like when I start tonight. Um, but I've got to do that. I've got to put together another collab. I'll put together my schedule for tomorrow. But we will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. EDT on Billy Billy this time. Um, so for Billy Billy, yeah, I'll drop a link at the end, like right before the stream starts. So you can just click the link and join. But even without a Billy Billy account, you can watch. You can't comment, but yeah, you'll be able to watch just fine. We're playing a game called Firework, which is a Chinese horror game, which is another one that I was ridiculously requested to play. So I'm very excited to see how that turns out. Um, yeah, and tomorrow I'll also drop my schedule for the rest of the week. So look forward to that. I'm excited. Next week is very busy. We don't have any days off and we have several double days. So it's another big week. <laughs> the week after, the week after. Oh, maybe we'll rest a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, no breaks on this train. We finish spoopy month. Oh, we got one more super, ah, one more super chat, right? As I was ready. Let's see. Thank you so much for donating the foo funds. Secret life of Anna. What's your foo? Taking care of kids, end of spooky month. Thinking of cooking slash baking something with them. Got any recommendations? Grade one to four. Pies are always good because pies are nice and simple, especially if it's like a blueberry pie or like an apple pie. Oh God, I'm trying to remember. We used to use cooking for teaching as well. And I'm trying to remember the things we used. So I remember we used to do things like oil and water separating, but I think that's a bit hard for grade one to four. But you can always... One of the things that we used to do was like growing things before we cooked things. It's obviously too late for that. But like growing things like watercress in the classroom and then being able to just make watercress and egg sandwiches. Um, but baking. Nah, just go with a pie. <laughs> just go with a pie. Pumpkin shaped cookies. Cookies would be way... Oh, oh, oh. That's one thing we used to do. Um, if you get like, get them to make jack-o'-lanterns. So get, teach them the idea of like carving jack-o'-lanterns. Teach them the idea of like using the drawings and then cutting that. You take out all the seeds. You can teach them to like roast the seeds and to make like pumpkin pie and stuff. Um, we never made pumpkin pie. I know that much, but we did used to like roast the seeds and then have the seeds as like a snack during snack time. Um, but that becomes like a multifaceted thing. God, it's so weird trying to think back to like, teaching days um but yeah that could be good especially if you just like pumpkin seeds can be turned into other things as well but yeah um pie was always an easy one i forget why we did pie oh uh, yeah we definitely like we had the kids grow their own blueberries as well and like, we had the vines prepared for them but they put their names on them and we did the whole like experiment of like some being away from a light source some being in a light source some getting more water some getting less water and then teaching them how to bake pies. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pumpkin cookies for Halloween is a much better idea. I was trying to connect it back to lesson things, but honestly, <laughs> yeah, just go for something simple. That sounds good. Yeah, just teach them like different measurements and stuff. It is good. Anyway, thank you for turning the food fun secret life of Anna. I'm sure you could do better than my silly suggestions. I've been out of it for way too long, clearly. <laughs> but good luck with everything. Uh, with that said, we're going to end the stream for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As I said, I'll be back tomorrow on Billy Billy at 10 a.m. EDT for firework. Um, as always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. And on the way out as usual, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. And there were so many today. Thank you so much. There were so many gifted. There were so many brand new members. There was just so much going on. So thank you guys so much. Including... Salted Fish. <laughs> Bubble Yusi. Margarita. An Samita, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Aku. Cement, Betty Potato, Emma, Yu Dornai, Soil, Everlasting Hope, Mia, da Sorry, YouTube being weird, it clicked away in a weird way. Happy Hi Hi, Roku, 
Miyoko Mi. Ling Lin Ling. Muse. Defkuzu Sara. Raku. I'm having to translate a few of these, sorry. <laughs> This one, it won't let me grab for some reason. Aggravating. Emily Jasmine Chang. Nagi. That's Nagi. That's how you read Nagi. Thank you. Atlas. Core. Garcia. Pink Nightshade. Chi Chi. Lapis Lazufe. Aria. Aya. Sakura, Chuchuko, Sasha, Ogi, Momo Q, Mitsumine, Joyce Liu, Lam, Lavina, Ameru Sawada, Ibibi Bib, Ib Ib, Ibib, Ibib, Leah Yu, Cherry B. Eeny Bunny, Aoma Laura, Yui Haruka, Mikita chan, Def Kuzu Sara, thank you so much for the gifted. Oh, and Mikita chan, thank you so much for the gifted as well. Nekoyashiki, Candy, Aria, Pekali, Iris, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Hope you had a lovely day, Iris, and thank you so much for joining the stream. Noor. Noorheen, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Mio Arkwright, thank you so much for the gifted. Soda P, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Zaza. Jimmy the Sheep. Sauce. <laughs> Luke there, thank you so much for the Q Super Sticker. Hope you enjoyed the stream today and have a lovely evening. Jingle Bio Bio. Aqua, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Fun Fantasia. Endy. Ako. Mao Tian, thank you so much for the five gifted. Yura, thank you so much for the five gifted. And Elinia, thank you so much for the five gifted. Bacon Egg, welcome back for the 18th month. And yay, you got to catch the live stream today. Thank you for all the adorable artwork you've been doing of like the VOD watching you've been doing. I've loved seeing like the little sketches you do and like it feels like a photo album being created. So thank you so much. Miki Tachan, thank you so much for the gifted. Ting Yu. Luthier, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Not the same. Shimomi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Dead or not. CHY, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a lovely evening. Tiff Tiffany Ba, thank you so much for the 5 gifted. Pearl. Lala, thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership at the beginning of stream. Hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for the rainbow super too. Jin. Luna, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. Hope you had a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for the support. Siku. Yen Yen. Lily Sheep. Anna. And Paradox Mint, thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership as well. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I know you said this is one of your favorite games, so I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry we only got bad endings. <laughs> we kind of locked that in and early and just rolled with it. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Satoshi, thank you so much for the five gifted. And Aryi, thank you so much for the five gifted. I remember now you taught me how to pronounce your name. Thank you so much. Cha Cha Lin. Anina. Isaiah. Ghost Wolfie. Yuki. Eichan. Kanakumi Ren. Mu Hui She. Jasmine Kikuchi, Anna, Alda, Ashley Taylor. Oh, and Lala, thank you so much for 50 more gifted right at the beginning of stream. So 100 gifted in total, plus a rainbow. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Lala. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a lovely evening. 
Thank you for always being so incredibly supportive. And I hope the 100 new members today enjoy that as well. Welcome to the membership, everybody. Shizuya Hanamiya. Chiyo Shu, thank you so much for the five gifted. Rum coffee. Sunny. Eru, 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 eru. <laughs> it's getting to be a lot of names like that. Isia. N. R. N. Marie. Onigiri. Mikeru. Nouveau. Healing. Chien. And finally, Casey. Thank you all so much for joining the stream today. Thank you all so much for joining the membership. Let me see if I can redirect you guys to anywhere today. Oh, I have three options. Pio-chan, Aiki, or Kodaka. We never get to do Pio-chan. Oh, I did raid us recently. We'll do Pio-chan. It's pretty rare we get to end before Pio-chan and so that'll be nice. I'll send you guys over to Pio-chan. Have fun with the drop scythes. Have a lovely evening, everybody. I will catch you, as I said, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. EDT if you want to watch Firework. Otherwise, be on the lookout for my new schedule coming out tomorrow. Rest well. Have a lovely evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants, because I will catch you guys next time. Scythe kicks are bad. I meant scythe kicks. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs>